Roll call. All right. No, no need for a roll call. Okay. Oh, okay. So. 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 Do a uh, nice little uh, recap to. Uh... So. So. Oh God. So. Oops. Do a uh, nice little uh, recap to. Okay? Uh... So. So. I have my own. Uh, sorry. I had the. I have my stream open, so I just heard myself again. Uh, oh God. Yeah. It's gonna loop a bit. Yeah. So I just turned that down. All right. So a nice little recap for everyone. Um, so getting uh, to the island, um, you know, we lost a good friend. But uh, that didn't stop the uh, group from continuing on and getting through. By uh, getting onto the island, which was off the coast, just about a day and a half's travel from uh, Titania, they uh, went in and uh, found the main fortress of the uh, ever-elusive and uh, dastardly Lord Theremin. He traveled through, did many crazy things, evading a uh, cyclops and getting through the front door by pretending to be prisoners and drow, uh, convincing most of the low-end guards to uh, help you and get the children away, uh, going in, killing the Inquisitor, going into the second floor of the prison, dealing with Yanti, most likely and hopefully saving all of the uh, friends of Paragon, Iron Paragon, who you guys also met. Tartarek has not, but we'll have the introduction. Um, you uh, also head down and meet up with a uh, two-headed troll named Drung and Drung. You head into the bottom floor where you dealt with an increase in nastiness where you fought a hydra with many many heads that had uh, very snake-like yanti appearances you dealt with two minotaurs one of them specifically who had two heads and a uh, mutated nothic who was pelting you with spells while being invisible then you head into the uh, next area where you dealt with a uh, a nasty little Medusa and a magic mirror that trapped your friend Torin. Yeah. You guys decided the best way to uh, deal with that was to melt the mirror. Which didn't work. Which did not work at all. Uh, then later uh, you actually went head to head with the warden and uh, made short, short work of him. <laughs> he, made, he made him a bit. Finger guns. Um... <laughs> Knocked unconscious, the uh, drung and drung went into the warden's main chamber, uh, found a uh, interesting slave slash prisoner, took them with you, and uh, we're heading uh, your way out even further upstairs to the science lab, where you uh, found another one of those mirrors and actually properly broke it open and freed Torin. Uh, fought a couple guards, dealt with the many-eyed beast aberration, and then eventually went to the top floor and uh, dealt with Lord Theremin himself. Not without the loss of Torin, though. And with the loss of Tartarek earlier, it's not like you have... Uh, many ways to get him back but hopefully when you guys are on your way back to uh ergos and titania on the boat you uh you'll be fine so okay we, we come back with uh you all trying to just lug as much gear possible because you're just not only are you trying to survive you're greedy pieces of shit aren't you <laughs> so you got like whole suits of armor some of times it's almost as heavy as you, but you're dragging it. And uh, you guys get to the boat. Uh, uh, Iron Paragon's already there. He's put down uh, both the body of Lord Theremin and the body of Torin. Uh, the when you get to the boat, Paragon, um, the uh, captain that you have not met before kind of gives you a 
I, uh, well, who be you? Paragon. And he looks was... fast and he, he looks at the corpse of Torin. Well, you recognize him? Yeah, that's Torin. Yes. The uh... other guy is Lord Theremin. Huh. There are some other people that came earlier. Quite a interesting bunch. And then he, the uh, kids. yeah, kids, um, a two-headed troll, and uh, some gnome. Hmm. A gnome. Yeah, he said that uh, the main thing that you guys were looking to get here was him, not him. And he points at Lord Theremin. I, I don't know anything about a gnome. Ah, well... Where's the rest of you? Don't tell me they're all dead. Uh, on their way, I assume. Ah, you just hoofed it here, didn't you? As much as I could with two large plate male-wearing bodies, yes. Mm. Well, if you need anything, there's food down in the, the hold. There's cots. And, uh, well, friend of, friend of Torrin's a friend of ours. All right, gonna go eat something then. Right. Paragon just pushes past him and goes to where he can get food. Okay, so you guys uh, eventually all make it. I'll say that you got four of the sets of plate mail. All right. Uh, you come up to the ship. It looks a little bit battered. They probably got into a bit of a scrap uh, on their way. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, other than that, things don't look too bad. The um, you when you come up, you can see just laid out before everyone is the corpse of Lord Theremin, and then uh, I would I would expect that the corpse of yeah, I put the Tor corpse of Torin somewhere else. Yeah, so I left probably... Theremin on the ground, but took Torin yeah. somewhere else. So uh, where are you guys putting all this stuff? And the hold. Uh, um, yeah. Alright, I think uh, we should work on dumping all the loot somewhere uh, so it doesn't get, you know, in our way. Uh, we can unload it when we get to Titania. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, by the way, Skylar, um, yeah. as soon as I, uh, you know, you know, get on the boat and maybe start settling, settling things down, I'd like to check my notebook for something from my mom okay before that happens um the the captain comes down looking at the lot of you noticing there's people with you that he's not seen before mm -hmm. he says uh what happened we we met some people um some of whom oh no no i understand you met some people oh. you met a lot of people there's a lot of people That's... on the fucking ship I'm talking yeah. about what happened. Like, what was well, it like? First, we went into the. We followed a map and we reached a po point where we were attacked by undead. After that, we got through the woods and we fought some ogres, as well as some two headed beast. Apparently, a genetic experiment by this dead dude here. Um, we proceeded, we got attacked after we, we rested the next day. We made our way to the actual keep. Mm. We okay. attacked. That's, well, actually, we attacked. Yeah, that's quite a... I didn't expect it, it to be that much. There's it was a lot. It was a lot to deal with. Uh, well, uh, the lot of you came back alive, and I'm sure you can uh, take this one back, find a way to give, give him life again. Speaking of somebody who um, died, have you got any news on our friend Tartrek? He's... He, well, I can't tell you much. I, we went there, we got supplies, we dropped them off with one of the royal caravans. I see. And I can only expect that they'll do what they can. And I know that if they do uh, cast some of this magic, he'll be alive. It's just he'll be tired. I suppose. Do you know if that'll... Uh cost us anything or will it be free of charge or i don't know just, uh -huh. I'm, I'm a ship captain not a i, I suppose yeah 
I think we'll find back find out more once we get back. Yes. Yeah. First first step is is doing just that getting back. Mm. Now, uh, is that all? Yeah, you're, you're looking for more stuff. No, I think I think that's that's everybody. She's just gonna like look around, make sure everybody's there. Uh, yeah, I, assuming everybody's there, she's gonna release a just sigh of relief and uh, yeah, yeah, that that should be all of us, and we got as much as we could. I mean, taking care of a king and a war criminal isn't exactly the uh, easiest thing to do. Well, yeah, well. We'll ship off, and if we're All lucky, right. we won't have problems. All right. So That's... he goes up, he puts the sails down, he does all those things that I don't exactly know how to say because I'm not a sailor. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you're off to sea. Is there anything you guys like to do in your time? Uh, eat and short rest, first of all. Assuming, yeah, she's, she's, she's a bit still, like... Uh, just coming off the the blood rush, so she can't quite sleep. Yeah, I'm uh, not gonna be able to long rest anyways. You've only been awake for like three hours. Oh, okay. Damn. What do you do oh. for deck training? You could train with me. Uh, yeah, that would be dodging acrobatic stuff. Okay, I'll don't do that. All right. Paragon so, is spending is spending the time arguing with sailors and stealing out and taking food from them because he's super fucking hungry. Oh, don't worry. There's tons of food because they figured you'd be. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> they didn't expect this many people, but there's still quite a lot of food, especially for just uh, the one and a yeah. half day travel there is. But uh, if right. you're arguing with sailors, uh, you're just arguing with sailors. Yeah. They're Fair argumentative enough. type, but they're not the type to take it to heart. That's good. Banter, boys. Yeah, basically. So, um, it was, if I remember correctly, it was pretty early when you guys killed. So, <laughs> it's around, uh, anyone staying above deck? Mm. Uh, uh, I am. Because you, oh, oh, you would, oh yeah, you guys would have to be above deck if you're training. Of so, course, yeah. Um, so she during... she'd ask for a dagger from one of the sailors or somebody. Uh, you get it. Knowing that Calamus also has a dagger, it's it's, mm -hmm. it's a weapon he could use to, you know, train a bit. Okay. Well, Which... during this, and you take a you know a breather because Calamus is probably not the most uh, strenuous, uh, straining. I don't know the word. Strenuous? Strenuous, strenuous, yeah. strenuous type. Um, you take a take a breath, you know, have a couple of drinks of water. While you're looking out to the side of the sea, you can see above you a massive bird fly by. And when I say massive, I mean at least an 80 foot wingspan. Could I history to see what it is, or what what would that be? Insight, maybe. Nature? No, you you um <clears throat> you would not know about this these are well you would hear about legends of the great uh the great uh, rocks that rule the skies mm. but it it pays you no no harm and it just flies by you look across the sea you can see a couple of things coming out of the water you know like whales and such <clears throat> but if you look directly down You'll notice the uh, the abundance of jellyfish and other such like interesting creatures you don't really see very often lighting up the ocean. Well, ain't this quite the sight? What time of day is it? It's around three o'clock. Mm -hmm. PM. Yeah. yeah. Really going to be leaning over the the the. You know, railing, I suppose, uh, looking down quite mesmerized. It's been years since uh, she's been on a vacation to the sea. Uh, yeah, I'm also taking a look. Do you know how to swim? Uh, I don't think my guy would know how to swim, actually. You should not jump off a ship to swim. No, Ships we are know. fucking we know. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. The ship is traveling at least five knots. Hmm. Oh. Well. well uh, well, what's Calamus gonna say that she that he doesn't know? What? 
No, oh, is Calamus just gonna say he doesn't know? No, I uh, ain't not many pawns near Dundalk. I see. Uh, I don't recall much of it, but I think I was supposed to be trained. Nah. The um, if you remember, Sea Dog comes up behind you and goes, oh. "Oh, admiring the ocean, are you?" Yeah, it's it's quite the quite the beauty. Uh, mm. She's the only woman for me. I see. You know how to swim, tattoo boy. Uh, <laughs> I was just asking him that. Hey, he shakes his head no. You should take a dip always sometime to learn. if uh, we get to shore. The ocean, uh, she's a cruel mistress, but boy, does she embrace you. Just, just don't drink it. Embrace is is that is that your way of saying you you could drown or? In a way. Wow. Well, let's hope we don't get uh, that intimate with uh with the lady. Hmm. It's not always your choice, but yeah. That's true. Uh, well, regardless, I've spent mainland most of my whole life, and I think that's probably how it's going to be for the rest of my life. Hmm. Well, you'll miss out, but I guess you'll be safer, won't you? I suppose so. <sighs> she's she's gonna just sigh and look towards the 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 like stairs, I suppose, that lead into the the inside of the ship. We met, we met friends, and we lost people, and I really just am glad to be returning home. I really hope we're, we're going to be able to find somebody. To yeah, well, I definitely ain't going to miss it. Same for. In fact, uh, she's gonna she's gonna sit down like on some stairs, just on the on the deck, and she's gonna open up her notebook. Um, I was just leaning does, back on the on the rail. Does she see any any new messages? She, she so wants to you write... open up the notebook. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just a simple message, and it just says, um, your father woke up today, his new arm is on, it doesn't match his skin tone, hmm. but the doctor, the, the, the priest said eventually it will, hoping to see you soon, love, mom. She's gonna, her eyes are gonna well up a bit, and, but she, she's smiling, she's very happy. Uh, she's gonna wipe away some tears and uh, gonna gonna write into the notebook that uh, good news they got out safely they're making their way back but uh, not all is well and she's gonna ask if uh, uh, if there's anybody she knows who could uh, come to to Titania as soon as possible to um, help out. Um, one of her friends who unfortunately didn't make it out alive. Uh, you don't get an immediate message back. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you she doesn't it... expect it. Okay. She's just gonna write and hope for the best. Maybe she's gonna check later, but yeah. So as the day goes by, it comes to around six o'clock. Um, the uh, most of the uh, people who are working above deck are now slowing down and swapping shifts with the people who are sleeping below deck, and mm -hmm. um, Sea Dog and a couple others invite you to come down for a proper meal and maybe a game if you have the time. A game of what? I, they just say a game. Mm -hmm. A game of life and death. <laughs> You mean D and D? Gasp. Can we so, play D and D and D and D? Technically, yes. we're not going to now. Yeah. Um, right. So, uh, does anyone want to partake? I'm still, I'm still below deck, squatting cannons. Okay. There's a point which the uh, sailors can go up to you, and they're like, "So, what did we have to roll for?" Getting a bit training, late there, the big guy. Uh, mind if you settle down? I wouldn't mind. They just don't say anything and walk away because they don't know what to say. <laughs> so you guys sit down. Uh, you get served just two pints. And uh, the captain sits down with, uh, with Sea Dog and a couple other sailors. There's about four. And then I guess you two. Everyone else is either sleeping and or working above deck. Um, 
they start to deal out uh, cards. Do you know how to play shimmy? Mm, I'm afraid not. Oh, well, it's a simple game. Mm -hmm. You uh, get two cards. All right. And I throw down three cards on the board. And the person who gets the most matching wins the bout. It's essentially a modified version of Texas Hold'em. All right. So uh, how you play it is you uh, you roll two d6 to get your two mm -hmm. cards, and then uh, I roll three d6, and uh, you uh, see how many matching you have. Okay. So. Just roll here. Oh no, no, I can roll privately. I keep forgetting about that. Oh. No, that's not how to do it. It's GR, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, you guys roll two d6. Whoever's playing. Who's playing? Um, yeah. I guess I'll play. Okay. Okay. Three, three. Okay. And uh, he deals out the three cards. All right. So if you have any sixes, you're doing good. If you have any threes. So the person who actually wins this would be Ray Mean. The rest, if you guys want to continue playing, we'll just do it for passing time things. You guys just sit there and enjoy a few hours of playing cards with them. Of course. But uh, other than that, uh, the the time is to yourselves. Uh, yeah. After a while, um, you know, maybe uh, Sea Dog would have approached us while uh, Calamus and I were training, since I'm supposed to be, you know, teaching him all about how to have too much decks. Uh, so, uh, you know, as, as I said, she would have asked for a dagger around since all she has are her katanas. Um, and he, he's, he's got a dagger as well, right? So, Calamus, you have a, yes, a dagger, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, I do. I started with one. So, how would we, we, we train with that? Uh, would we just, would I just ask him to try to hit me with, with the dagger and like teach yeah, him different techniques? Yeah, you two techniques? would just go at each other with it, that's what I figured you'd be doing. What would we roll? I'm not really rolling for You're not rolling next for increase. You're just, doing so. it. You're just doing it. Okay. Okay. Just to pass the time. Yeah. You I getting the hang it. of this? Uh, I think so. I never really use these things. Hmm. I just carry one around just in case. Just in case your magic fails you? Or if I can't use any more of it. I don't know, say somebody knocks my staff out of my hand. What am I going to do? I suppose that's fair. Uh, do you think there's uh, any magical weapons that you'd be able to, uh, you know, use with more ease than a dagger? Um, well, I haven't gotten anything. Hmm. Uh, most I got here is this, uh, this staff made from those uh, Warforged. Oh, you're right. That's that's quite the thing, though. Yeah. I suppose it's been serving you well. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't think Warforged would make for uh, a good catalyst at all. If you think about it, they also make for good teammates. Think about oh, yeah, Kronk. Sure. Kronk has yeah. just been <laughs> robbing the poop deck. Uh. I'll admit that uh, that little wind-up toy's been pretty useful. He's, he's definitely had his moments. I mean, uh, oh, that that that, that little. Ah, never mind. Ah, we, we we've 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 dealt with quite a few people, and uh, really, I'm I'm very thankful to have uh, every single one of you. Okay, don't some I know fun, closer than than everyone else, I suppose. You and Torn have have been with me the longest. Zasta came shortly thereafter, and I hope. Everybody else is going to make a good teammate. They have so far, so... Well, thank you. 
I suppose. I don't normally travel with others anyways. This has been hard settling in like this. I think, uh, I think you're in good company. Aye. <laughs> so, no so you look around talking to, uh, trying to find, you find, you know, most of these sailors are pretty big guys, but none of them really come up to your height. But one of them, he's like about four inches smaller than you, and, uh, he, he nods, and he goes, okay. So, uh, roll in athletics. That was a shit roll, but 18. Oh, Oh. Damn. He apparently shows you up. He does. He's like, ah, oh, it's because you've been working out all day. Big man like One you. More. One more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he really is tired. <laughs> yeah. God damn. He has a laugh with you, don't worry. I just woke up. <laughs> you should get to sleep, big fella. <laughs> You've had probably the longest days of your life for the last few days. You probably had the longest... You probably... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Paragon is just staring at him while he's talking. <laughs> He's like trying to realize that, oh, he's probably a fucking prisoner. I shouldn't say anything. He kind of like slaps you on the shoulder and goes, yeah, and then fucking awkwardly walks off. Yeah, Paragon after that is going to go take a nap. Probably okay. find a bottle of rum first. And then oh, take there's, a nap. there's a few of those. Yeah. Mm. I figured. Alright, so y'all go to bed, get your eight hours of sleep, wake up the next morning, the captain tells you you're about four hours out of town, you'll get to Titania quite soon, so uh, you have your breakfast and uh, do whatever you need to do for the next four hours. Uh, she's going to pull out her, her lockpicking book and read it. Alright. Paragon is lifting cannons again. Just because he can. <laughs> At this I'm point, gonna... when you're lifting the cannons, a couple of the sailors are like whispering each other and looking at you. I'm just gonna stare at them. Also, while we've been on the boat, I have attuned to the uh, the gauntlets. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking just of... Just FYI, yeah. Attu when you attune to the gauntlets, yeah. you, uh, you feel them on your hands. They, um... So what they kind of look like, right, is um, they they go on like a glove, but then they just cover your knuckles in like what looks like a crystalline substance, but it doesn't uh, get rid of like it feels like it covers your fingers entirely, but yeah. but if you push your fingers together, it doesn't really like stop them from touching. So it's like a cestus type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, when you put them on, you just kind of hear a slow bellow in your head of... Purify them. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? You can just feel the, the, the energy flowing through your body. You feel like your punches are... They're, they're going to do some damage. I'm gonna try punching a cannon, like putting it up against one of the walls below deck and then just beating the shit out of a cannon. Okay. And if the sailors are still staring, I'm just gonna glare at them for like three seconds before returning to punching a cannon. Okay, roll, uh, roll attack. Smash roll, huh? You, the first punch makes the cannon kind of indent, maybe a couple of centimeters because it's giant solid iron right yeah but instead of like usually when you punch things that are metal it hurts you but this not only did it make an indent 
but it kind of made it echo through it. And then the, the other side of the cannon, you can see a dent coming, like, as if your punch went through. Went through. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just going to stare at the sailors again. They, uh, they have looked away. <laughs> and keep working out. Okay. At one point, Raylene is going to walk up to Calamus. So, are you feeling more, um, you know, agile? Because uh, I've got a, a little idea for you for how to, uh, you know, kickstart this whole I want to dodge better thing. I squint at you. What are you on about? <laughs> well, uh, remember when we first got here and uh, I, 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 I kind of took a look at those, those beams, the masts and whatnot? <laughs> And I kind of climb them top, and I uh, you know, just walk along them like uh, like on a tightrope. Like rope. the like the inane little spider monkey you are, yes. Well, I guess you could say that, bitch. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, would you like to give it a try? I, I, I'll, I'll help you. I'll tie a rope around your waist so you don't die. This sounds absolutely ridiculous. Let's but. do it. She's gonna hold you by like, like you know, <laughs> arm locked in an arm and pull you along. I I I guess I'll be grudgingly fucking come along. Yay. Uh, yeah, and I want to like tie a rope securely around his waist, secure to the mast, help him climb up, climb up as well with him. Uh huh. And you know, I'm gonna stand behind him. I assume I'm acrobatic enough at a plus eleven to. Not really worry about rolls. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I just wanna... The boat rocks a few times, but you know. Mm -hmm. And I want to help him walk along and walk back and see if he can do it on his own, whatnot. Okay, now he needs to make acrobatics check. Of course, of yeah. course. I'm, uh... I'm also going to be holding him if you know. Nice. By he the, like could, immediately it... loses his footing. Okay, can I catch him? Yeah, you catch him. He's not falling. That's what you're okay. doing. You're not yeah, exactly. giving him advantage. You're making sure he doesn't mm -hmm. fucking die. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That that was. <laughs> let's let's try again. Oh, okay. Okay. You feeling you, good? You you you, uh, you, you, you kind of lose your heel, but you feel safe enough that you keep walking. And you, one step at a time. One step at a know, time. You know, perhaps the best place shouldn't be on the ocean to do this. Well, where do you want to do it? I bet if we get back online, you're going to be stuck in a library for three months. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Same as last time. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. hey, come on, I'm sure you can do it. You kind of get the hang of it, and uh, okay. at this point, you walk all the way to the end, and then you look back, and it's like that moment when your dad let go of you when you're on your bicycle, <laughs> and you just, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Nice. And then you turn around, and you start walking forward, rolling other acrobatics. I'm going to walk, I'm going to walk towards him. And you, you're doing it! Fuck yeah. Good job! I'm so proud of you. You've come so far, well, like, I don't know, 30 feet? And then the you boat made flips. So oh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, clenching my fucking chest. No, you're clenching your fucking ass cheeks. Yeah, that too. Like, everything is clenching right now. And I am just, like, bent over. Oh, God, I prefer Misty stuff. <laughs> Suppose so. <clears throat> oh, see, same right. action economy, so I don't teleport. <laughs> but yeah, um, all right, maybe maybe that's enough. I'm sure soon enough we'll make landfall, and uh, if this seemed fun enough, maybe we could we could try some. I don't know, either this or some of that more sparring. But we're gonna we're we're gonna get you up to speed. Yeah, sure thing. I'm just I just don't want to yeah. take any more hits. Is he still like? Are, are we still there? I'm gonna push him off if if we're still on the thing as long as he's tied by the rope. You you haven't stated you've gone bound yet, so. Great! I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna push him over. Okay, you fall he's, he's, oh, he's... ten feet, and uh, the rope catches you around your waist. Make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. That's all. You're fine. Uh, you just hang uh, in there. Your stomach's a little sore. Uh, uh, one of the sailors comes and just cuts the rope, and you just fall another three foot and just. <laughs> take take two damage. Take uh. Take three <laughs> uh three fuck you Randall Simmons damage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, uh, you would have known. He's super vulnerable to it. <laughs> can I? Can I also jump down from there? I don't know what, like, what, how, how, how tall, how high up are we? You're about like 25 feet. Okay, I'm gonna. Like, would acrobatics be the thing that I should roll? You'd have to roll pretty high to land without taking damage. Uh, I landed. I 29. 29. You land and you yeah. only take five. Okay. As you kind of land perfectly. But yeah, but the boat shifts a little bit, and you go, and your knees hurt. Yeah. Well, that's 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 the price of style. All right. And about this time, you can see the lighthouse, and you can see the shore. You're about one mile away. I have like a cold composure, but deep down, I'm like, oh fucking thank God. Nautical mile or regular mile? Um, oh god, how much? How long is <laughs> not are longer, mile? right? That's a great question. I just asked the fuck with you, so. Uh, nautical mile. Pretty sure they're longer by a fair bit. Not a fair bit, but. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a nautical mile. A nautical mile is literally point fifteen longer than a normal mile. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh yeah, Jesus. Okay. So are you gonna go tell everyone downstairs? Because they can't exactly see. <laughs> no, they're they're gonna stay on this boat forever. Oh fuck. We just loop back around to Theremins. Don't worry, you wait six seven days and he'll respawn. Ah. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> Kill him again for farming loot. <laughs> So you guys make it. You're in the in the point of docking. And the the ship comes in. You can see a um. Right off the like the main dock, into the actual like land, there is um a rather fancy looking, like cart waiting for you there. And it's surrounded by about ten, like very well armored. Guards. She's gonna look around a bit like, oh boy. That's something. Okay, one second. I want to see what kind of music I would play in this. There we go. Some ceremonial stuff, maybe? Epic. Some town music. I yeah, suppose. I'll just come up from under deck and having I, I haven't been above deck since since we left the island. You get I'll just up. come up from under deck with Torin over one shoulder and Theramen over oh, the other. It is so bright. Hmm. You actually haven't dealt with this much light much in your life, have you? The fuck. Yeah, your eyes are a bit sore. She is gleaming in the sunshine. She's gonna spread her arms wide, almost hit Paragon in the process. Do you feel that? It's so nice. Why the kidding. fuck is it so bright? And that's when you walk off to the side of the ship and you see the town. You've never... Well, not mm. ever. You haven't seen a city I, yeah. in years. It's I mean, your I don't choice know how big a city is. Hmm? How big are cities on the Ebony Coast? What have you seen? Any there would be while three. There? there would be three. But the big yeah. thing is, nothing would be like nice looking because how shitty the environment is there. This place, everything just looks like it's made with, with, with care and love. Eh. Some it's, love. Eh. It's not what I was care expecting. and money. And mm -hmm. there's chimneys and there's. Happy people running around, even by the docks. You see sailors bringing up their boats, tying up their ropes. You see people walking around town just giddy and happy, not knowing about what was just, like, a day's travel away causing havoc. Not even thinking about the problem that just recently happened in 
a city not so far north of them. It, I, it could fill you with hope. It could fill you with anger because you've missed out on it. But whatever it is, it's definitely something that you'll need to learn to get used to now. Paragon has a look of disgust and confusion of his face on his face right now. Okay. You guys gonna head off the yeah head off the boat. Of yeah, course. Just follow I'm along. gonna. She's I'm gonna backflip gonna... her way there. Like, oh man, she's so overjoyed. So y'all get off the boat on the, uh, the little boarding piece there. Oh, in fact, Calamus, do me a favor. Yes. Uh, that is 18 uh, acrobatics, roll strength, Lamau. Athletics. Uh, she, she, well, yeah, she's on her, on your shoulder. She's trying to get on your shoulders. No. No. No, you are <laughs> buckling underneath her fat ass. <laughs> Damn, bitch, you fat! <laughs> uh, am I gonna fall? Uh, yeah, you, uh, he kind of, like, buckles and goes backwards. Uh, both of you make deck saving throws. Amazing! That's a 29. You just kind of jump back off his his shoulders and then launch him into the water. <laughs> really? Yeah. You guys were walking, you know, on the little dock, and then she jumped on your fucking shoulders, and then jumped back off your shoulders, and you fall in the water. You don't take any damage, have... but. <laughs> I'm gonna lend my rope down. By the way, do you actually know how to swim or not? I don't think I would. I mean, like, Dundalk is, like, really mainland, isn't it? Like, in the center. Yeah, of the Dundalk continent. is in, like, the center of the continent. But there is a couple of rivers by. But those are completely different. I'd, yeah. I'd argue... Oh, I'd no. Oh, God. She's gonna jump in. Anything. She'd have received training from her dad. Uh, so you jump in and you pull him out. He's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I was probably too busy being a farm boy and learning magic. Yeah, you're Supposed. just coughing up seawater and you get up. And, um, uh, Iron Paragon, just standing with both the corpses over his shoulder, uh, looking at the guards as the cart opens up. And, um, the, the lady that you dealt with, that I'm forgetting the name of, I have it in my book. Lady McDouche. I'm just on my knees. Ah, uh, no. Uh, uh, the Queen's advisor, Alexa. Alexa. Yeah, she comes out so of bad. this, uh, and she looks at Paragon, kind of uneasy with her eyes, and then she looks at the rest of you and goes, you made it back <sighs> not completely in one piece. Mm, no. Uh, also, I would like to introduce to you, this is um, Iron Paragon, one of the prisoners taken by Lord Thurman. However, he has proved to be quite a valiant ally to us. The, the valiant? Anyway, anyway. Um, we also have Roland. I did that wasn't intended. Um, we also have Roland. He's our centaur ranger. We also found him in the forest, and he decided to uh, tag along. So um, she bows her head to both of you and goes, "Welcome." Uh, Thank. We met, uh, we met with your, uh, request, and, uh, you, you hear some creaking, and out come, coming from, uh, the cart is Tartarek. Is that a fucking turtle? Yeah. It you, is! You, Iron Paragon, see a rather damaged looking, but in all honesty, a, a, a turtle person, and you've never seen a turtle person before. Um, You're a fucking turtle. Uh, y yes, I'm a turtle, but besides the point, I, I have found my way back uh, to you get all, and I'm so happy to still be here. So are we! Oh, oh it's... Oh, we're, we're sorry. I... This is what? when you notice... It's, it's... Sorry. This is when Tartarek notices in between... One of the dragonborn in front of you, Iron Paragon's arms, is torn. Limp. Oh. Dead. Oh, it's... Yeah, um... This is quite despairing. It seems that even though I've come back to you, we've still lost somebody. Oh, disappointing. I'm so sorry. I wasn't there to protect you guys. 
It's it's if anything, we're still in debt to you. So uh, don't, do you think there's don't anything mind. we could do? Uh, she's gonna flip through her notebook, seeing if her mom answered or anything. Uh, you go through the notebooks. Your mom has answered and says, um, "If you can come back as soon as possible, and uh, meet with them, um, if you are successful, what that you did, you're probably going to get something quite nice from the king because the king has been making announcements about um, uh, what happened. Us? No, no, about what happened uh, with the uh, airship. Oh, oh, right. So if we come back to the king, all right." Uh, she's gonna close it. Keep in mind what what Ramon said, but this is not things he's concerned with right now. Right now, it's uh, her eyes are just trained on uh, Tartarek, and she's gonna ask if he can do anything about this, or if he knows anybody who can, like maybe the person who revived him. Mm. Yes, uh, I have to ask. Uh, how long have they been uh, like this? Uh, Tarin died. Today? Or no, yesterday. 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 So oh, then, then there still might be time. I I could use a... Or, uh, what was it? I could use a fucking... You raise the dead if that could work. Is that, can I use that? Can I use raise the dead? Yes, um, the, um, the advisor says, not here. We don't need the riffraff seeing it. Let's, uh, let us go find a church or a temple. As she uh, beckons you all to get into the cart with her. Alright, mm, we will. I guess Iron Paragon puts the two dead people on seats. <laughs> He's sitting beside you. She is tucked away in a corner. I can really just tucked away in a corner, side, like away from the corpses and sort of uneasy. Because that is mighty awkward. Is there anywhere a Paragon could hang on the side of the carriage? Uh, no, not with this one. It's it's quite literally... It's huge inside. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so while in there, the advisor says, um, so... I can guess that's the Lord Theremin? Yes. Oh, by the way, we'll need the armor off him, so... That's, that is fine. We'll just need his corpse. Um, corpse. What do you plan on doing with him, if, if you don't mind me asking? I have no idea. I am going to have to present him to the king. Oh, this uh, also brings up, because of mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of a problem when you brought back your turtle friend, uh, we're going to have to change a little bit of your reward. Also bringing other people, and I assume this man and this centaur both yes. uh, assisted you in uh, your capturing yep. of Medebe yes. and the killing of Lord Theremin? Indeed. Well, we'll have to give you guys some payment as well. But we still need to make sure we don't spend all of our funds. So, uh... I understand. I believe our old deal was a thousand platinum each. Mm hmm We're going to have to cut that down to five hundred. Five hundred? Yes. That's fine. One is the cost of bringing back your friend, looking at the turtle. And the other yep. one is now we have to give some to pointing at Iron Paragon, to him, and pointing at Roland, and to him. That's fair. But do not worry, you are, uh, you are going to be given things that uh, you'll enjoy. Thank you. Alright, well, I don't think money is an issue. Um, we have, we have uh, to sell some stuff anyway. Oh shit, that's heavy. What, what is heavy? All that platinum. 500 platinum, it, it, yeah? It really is, yeah. It doesn't matter. So uh, you guys continue on your trip, and uh, you get to the temple. It takes an hour to cast Raise Dead, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, you guys just sit there. Or are you going to make any prayers or do anything? Well, Raylene's going to be writing in her notebook. Okay. Paragon is waiting outside the temple. Uh, also, she yeah, she's going to be on the steps outside. So like while you're sitting outside like the temple, or... you're getting quite a lot of looks, Paragon. Not many Dragonborn come to here. You don't know that, but not a lot of Dragonborn come here. So a lot of humans... Uh, the, the vast population of this area is humans, halflings, and the occasional half-elf. But it's just a huge amount of humans. 
Paragon is just giving them the stink eye if they stare at him. They quickly, uh, anytime they get eye contact, they quickly look away. Until eventually, um, a, a, a mother walking by and her kid, kid comes up to you and goes, Look, mommy, a lizard. She's going to close her book and stand up because she's, nah, not quite. The kid comes up to you and goes, hey, lizard. What? Do you fight? Do you fight? And he points at, like, all these scars you have. Yes. You should beat up the bad guys here. Can you okay. do that? And Paragon as before he says any more, the, the mother comes, grabs the kid, and looks at <laughs> you and just fucking runs. Speaking of, Paragon, what, what are you going to be doing in the downtown? Coming up? I assume what? we're not going to... I assume we're not going to be sent out on a mission. I'd like to take a break. There's a lot on my mind. What can you do here? Well... Other There's... than get strange looks. Oh, I, I'm sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm sure there's places you could train. You could, there's places you could drink. There's places you could eat as well. I'm sure the money we get is going to be plenty for you to yeah, do either of those. But yeah, um, my father used to used to take me to these um, this hall. Uh, I know there's one in Alden. I'm not sure. I, there must be one in Argos too. Um, he used to have me sit on the side and watch, essentially, him duel other people and spar and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's quite the big, strong man. How tall is, uh, Paragon? Seven six foot, foot ten. Oh, yeah, that's right. Six, six ten? Six okay. Ten. Yeah. But that's because he also has, like, a hunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's about your size, uh, and I'm pretty sure, like, I, I saw a lot of people, I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll, you'll do fine. With, the, with your you know, would-be opponents. As you guys well, are talking, um, uh, Disaster opens the door to you guys and says, it, it's going to be finishing soon. You want to go Oh, in? really? Yeah, of course. And she's going to run inside. He looks at you, Paragon. You going to come in? He just shakes his head. All right. All right. Closes the door. You sit there. Five minutes pass. Tartarek gets up. And, Torin, you feel like wherever you were, drinking mojitos with Margaritas. Bahamut. No, no, he's drinking <laughs> mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> with, with Bahamut, you just got ripped out of there. And your body is just being, or your soul is being sucked back into your body. <gasps> and you just suddenly breathe again. You're as sore as you've ever been. Your head hurts. You feel weaker. But you're alive. She's gonna basically slide in. She's not 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 doing too well emotionally already. Torrid, is that you? Are you are, are you alive? This the sound you hear from her is just echoing in your head because you're you haven't heard anything for an entire day and a half. And you, by all means, don't know what's been going on. You are still getting used to even being in your body again. Torin doesn't even open his eyes. He just kind of, like, limply holds up his hand and just covers Raylene's mouth. Without seeing where her head is? I mean, I can hear where you are. Okay, Mr. Echolocation. Let it fucking happen, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know. Stop. Oh. oh, where am I? You're back in Argos? No, you're in Titania. Oh, sorry. We're, we're back on mainland. We're in Titania. What happened? We killed Thurman. Oh. We... Hardwreck is back from the dead, and so are you. He's sitting, but he's like standing over you, like, "Hey, I'm here." I mean, so am I. You're alive. Duh. I know I'm alive. Oh, wait, no, I. 
Yeah, you don't know you're alive? I, I, I can't expect died. Roll a yes. d100, by the way. Oh, and a 10, right. You are now an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that is a 98. Ah, uh, you oh, really like killing people. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I died. Mm -hmm. Wait, I died. Why'd you bring me back? You know Why where I went? went? You know where I went? Uh, he no idea. He up. Oh. Oh. You feel the wound that is on your face. You're kind of like... You feel like your, your jaw was a little dislocated, and now it's never going to truly be in the same position as you were hit in the head with Theremin's Warhammer and now I would say your entire like jaw and snout are slightly tilted to the left <sighs> you've seen better day why well, that's mm, putting it lightly like you're alive chiropractor. <laughs> you know hmm? there's this great plane of existence I just got to visit very briefly, called Arcadia, and I think that we should all go there and just relax for a while. You mean die? I mean, you can go there without dying. It's just like Why? existence. Well, no. I'm no, no magician. So. I'm back. Tartarek! Oh, oh, Tartarek, you're back. Big, yes. big no homo hug. She's gonna step back a bit. No, she's just gonna like wave very limply towards him with just, like once. Oh. Uh, I offer him a handshake uh, as to not strain him uh, with a hug. Ooh! Like... <laughs> All right. It's Where's my bag? Everything's on you. Oh. Uh -huh. Nothing was removed. Uh, she's gonna stand up and ask about, uh, Lord Thurman. Uh, so about the other person we brought back who was kind of not alive. Could we get his armor? Who are you talking to? Uh, isn't there, like, a priestess or something? So, or some, no, or some, or priest, or, aren't you or, to the woman? or Alexa, or... Alexa stated that you can have everything off of her in the cart, okay. uh, off of him in the cart ride. They just need him. Oh, okay. So I suppose we kind of did that as soon as we got off, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You just took him. He's naked now, sitting in the hall. You know, <laughs> just a naked know. corpse. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't deserve any better. So. so Alexa looks at you and goes, "Now, so uh, shall we uh, head to Ergos?" I think we're friend here. Alexa, I remember you. Hello. She smiles at you. Good to see you back. Yeah. Well, uh, this armor's a little stuffy right now. I'm just gonna start removing my armor. I'm just gonna, uh, Ten minutes later. <laughs> I assume he's getting help. Okay. Two minutes later. Yes. Now shall we yeah. head off? Uh, yeah. Sure thing. No. <laughs> so... <laughs> so you all get into the cart. Torin kind of limping a little bit. But... Oh, yeah, hello, there. Paragon. Hi. You look at him and you can see, like, a lot of his body parts are a little bit shifted from the beating he took. <sighs> Paragon will give him a hand in walking and getting him into the caravan. Next. So oh. you begin your ride, um, being completely surrounded by eight fully armored knights also riding horses 
Traveling at a relatively good speed, this uh, this cart has eight horses itself to carry all of the weight. And it takes around three, three and a half hours to get to Ergos. Anything you guys want to talk about or do while in the cart, or...? Check my notebook. Nothing. Nice. Is talk it to possible it. to just, like, be putting on Thurman's plate armor in the cart? No, there wouldn't be enough room. It's roomy, but it also now has uh, ten people in Cards. it. Cards, yeah, and a corpse. Well, yep. nine people in a corpse. Nice. Yeah. Do you hear swords no. clashing out? No. <laughs> hmm. So you guys make it to the uh, the outskirts of Ergos and uh, right. eventually into the uh, upper ring. Uh, that's where uh, you're told to get off and um, uh, go up and meet. Uh, she's going, going to go speak to the king. And uh, hopefully uh, at some point today you'll be able to get a uh, uh, the ability to talk to the king. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> While we wait outside, I will then change into uh, the, the plate armor. It's uh, it's an interesting set of armor. It um, has inlays on the inside of it and other pieces, and it has a helmet. Very Which, as it's magical and uh, I attune to it, does form around me, right? Yes, everything fits you skin tight, but at the same time maneuverable enough as yeah, a come. normal set of plate mail. And... Uh, and it says to you, um, in your mind, What word do you need? What did it say? What word do you need? Uh, what? <laughs> Essentially that you're choosing a word to activate it. Oh, um... Okay. Uh, I'll, ha okay, I'll, uh, I'll think, of, I'll whisper something to it, and I'll think of it later, and I'll tell it to you. Okay. In DMs. Alright, so you're all just sitting, um, you now, uh, Paragon, have, are now in a castle. Just absolutely, everything is luxurious, it smells beautiful, and that's when you kind of notice how you all smell absolutely fucking awful. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, she's gonna, first of all, poke Calamus. Hey, psst. I've been smelling this way for yeah. 20 years, so I don't notice. Oh, okay. that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Calamus, remember the, the uh, boot I gave you? My old uh, heels? Yes. Yeah. Uh, would you mind giving those back to me? Um, okay, yeah, here you go. Thanks, she's gonna chuck them in her bag. Uh, is Alexa still nearby? Uh, she has gone off to go speak to the king. Okay. Alright, uh, is there any way I could... Oh, yeah, there is. I could make make things smell nice, right? So, in theory, I could press the digitate all of us to be more clean and smell better, right? Uh, yeah, but it would take quite a bit. Then I'd just do it on myself and Calamus. Okay. I mean, I assume Calamus can also do it himself. Do what? Culture Fred. shock. Roll a d20 to see how much you're just like, what the fuck? Oh, d20. Lots. What the fuck? Oh, I nearly forgot. That, uh, that Warhammer and that mole that, uh... They're all in the bag of holding. They're oh, Wait, all in your bag of The mole. Grimlock. What, what about yeah. Grimlock? Oh, you don't want to know what happened. So as soon as I it was, kind of want to know what happened. I know, I know, I was getting to it, Mister Dead Undead. So, right after he, he, we killed Thurm, and this this portal opened, and this creature with tentacles for face and restrained us with magical chains that none of us could get out of, and it just it it took the halfling and it took Grimlock, and it just said it needed those two, and it it. it no, he's dead, but he said, Oh, you managed to kill my pets. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna be. 
I needed to take Thurman, which I'm thankful for, honestly, but... You know, he, uh, he took Grimlock and the Halfling. I, I don't, I don't, you don't care about the Halfling, but... Grimlock, Grimlock, I, I didn't kill him. Well, I mean, uh, Paragon, I think, snapped his neck. Oh. So... Yeah, yep. kind of looks at Paragon for a moment. <laughs> Alright. The hammer that he had is in your bag. Yeah, which is in my backpack, because you were kind of, you know, dead. I call forth both of the, uh, both the Maul and the Warhammer. I mean, she's gonna give you the bag, so... I already asked for it, like, way back. Oh. I assumed you gave it to me then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, do you want to know what they do? No. Okay, first the Warhammer, which is not on Grimlock's page, because Grimlock's had them all. One second. Yes. Okay, Lord, Lord Tinky Tom. Damn, Tinky Tom. Well, wouldn't I have to attune to them? Yes, but I'll tell you what they do, just so you can figure out which one you would prefer. Uh, isn't it that the Maul can only be attuned by an evil paladin? No. So, uh, the, the Warhammer is a plus two, uh, it, uh, deals an additional d6 radiant, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, it deals an ad additional d6 radiant, and, um, an additional, uh, d8, uh, necrotic or radiant. Wait, what? Why did it do that much? I don't think that's what it's supposed to do, but... Hey, you said it, it does an extra 1d8 or an extra 1... D... Okay, either Necrotic or Radiant based upon their alignment. Yeah, okay, so I don't know why it says this other I don't plus. think that d6 is supposed to be there. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it's doing there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it does an additional d8, plus it's a, a d10, d12 for damage normally. It's plus 2... Yeah. Okay. And the other one, Grimlock. Oh, and, and it has the he the heavy property. Yes, it has the heavy property. Grimlock's is a plus two maul that uh, you can cast hex with once, or every attack with it makes an opponent take a saving throw. Or be affected by hex. Hmm. It also hex does. Hex once for what? Long rest. Yes. Okay. Um, and it also does your charisma modifier in necrotic damage. Torin's not too pleased about necrotic, so he's just gonna put the hammer back into the bag of holding. Swing the uh, the warhammer around, or sorry, the maul back into the bag yeah. of holding. He's gonna, gonna swing the maul around. Oh, this feels good. Mhm. Mm uh, Paragon, no. Oh. What? Yeah, kind of like slowly walk towards Paragon. No, uh, we don't we don't do that. We don't do that. Yeah. Here. So you open and you walk into the room, and there's just a bunch of like noble people doing paperwork in there and one of them looks at you and goes pardon oh sorry folks i just kind of like put my hand on the, uh, paragon's arm uh yeah sorry he's a little new here uh i'm gonna kind of pull him out okay paragon um don't do that uh damn we're gonna have to really teach you some rules around here that's not, not so harshly. It, I'm sure it won't be that big of a deal. So let me get this straight. This is not a prison. No. But you're still not allowed to go through certain doors. Mm, yes. Unfortunately, that's how it works. Mm. You see, on the outside, we have something sim similar to what prisons have. Uh, rules, except we call them as laws. You see, the rules in prisons are meant to restrict you, to stop you from escaping or from doing harm. Uh, laws are supposed to really 
Uh, well, they're, co they're, they're codes of conduct that we're supposed to follow in order to make sure everybody lives well and undisturbed and yeah. Yeah, what what Raylene said. Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> All so, right. All right. That's that's a big one. Is don't enter a property that isn't yours. So a house, for instance, mm -hmm. is a property. Don't you know? Don't don't. Yeah, take I know what thing. property means. Yeah. Yes. Don't don't steal from people. Don't beat random people up if they don't like consent to a fight. Oh, um, another. Yeah, that's a big one. Don't kill. People. Right. And he's just sitting there, like, doing the mathematics. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill people. Well, there are certain people that we can kill. Well, no, 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 no. No, 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 I, don't worry. It's not... Basically, okay. Unless we tell you to kill someone, don't kill them. Or if they're trying to kill you. Because if they're trying to kill you, generally speaking, it is a good thing to kill them. What if they're being... However... Annoying? Don't forget that there's a difference between intention to harm and intention to kill. Um... I know. Yes. Good. Good, yes. He's, big... he's, he's not a baby. Please. There's a big he difference kinda... between snapping someone's neck and just breaking every other bone in their body. No, uh, um... She's gonna step uh... away. Someone like, uh, one of the like, random noble people walking around hears that and just kinda like, hmm. Oh, don't worry, we've got this somewhat under control. <laughs> the point is, if you hurt anybody innocent, I'm going to be the one to turn you in, more than likely. I'm going to kill look you. At you. So look at you. Look at you. She's gonna, she's gonna boop his nose. Just I can't let you harm in. innocent people here. Did you boop my nose? No, Calamus. Okay. <laughs> That's how you lose a finger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just staring at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what, Paragon? Why don't you stick around me for a few days? I'll, I'll try to teach you as sure. best as I can. You're similar enough. I'm sure people couldn't, you know. Yeah, yes, maybe works. two very being, large. Being racist in my Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> That's very racist, really. Uh, as you guys oh, are please. conversing and doing that, um, um. The, uh, the, uh, the advisor, Alexa, comes down, and she's just like, uh, so the king will be able to see you, uh, sometime tomorrow. Um, that's the earliest I could get. Of course, you know, he is still the king, and... I understand, yeah. So, uh, tomorrow at, uh, around 2 p.m. Didn't you just talk to him? I, well, I was able to come in and talk to his advisor, and then mm. she, he went to them and brought in and asked and came back. It took this much time just to get Why couldn't we to... just have walked directly to the king then? That seems like an awful a lot of work. Because he is the king. I... I don't have enough time to explain to you the entire workings of our government. And However, if you if you really are interested, Paragon, we, I'm sure somebody would be more than willing to teach you all about like how laws why things I'm are so not complicated sure, right? in society. But uh, if you follow me, I can get you your payment. Oh, of course. She's going to be all zippy-like and uh, happy. So she walks up and goes into uh, a... Ba uh, sorry, goes up. She goes down into a room and eventually leads to a, a, a big doorway that's just labeled treasury. She tells you to wait outside. She comes, goes in there. You hear some talking... A large machine moving and then she comes back and she gives each one of you uh, no she, she comes back and she asks you now I know I offered you the 500 platinum but is there any other payment you would prefer maybe jewels worth the same maybe it in gold I don't think you'd want that that'd be way too much um it would be platinum will do fine for me that, that much I know could you offer spells she just looks at you and you can buy spells what? with money. Mm, yeah. Alamos. Do I uh, look like a magician? Well, yes. surely you might have some magicians here. She's gonna press the gingerbread fingers around here. You can go pay them, here. I suppose, can't you? Well. And I she walks so. away and comes back and gives you all five hundred platinum. Mm -hmm. So let me just make sure that uh, I can 
Okay, so who else did we have with us? The ID the can give 500 platinum to Cashlin. Wait, do we make sure he has the right change? Uh, uh let me check. I'm already on his page. Okay. Holy fuck, that's a lot of money. Yeah, he does. That's 10,000 gold. Paragon is just staring at this bag. How, how much the is a very rare by the way, This. You'll have to find out, because I have All told right. you so many times now. I'm so Alright, Paragon, so this is money. Uh, current modern day society ah! runs on money. You, right. When you are when you are when you do something, you are given <laughs> money. And when you want something from someone, you give them money. That that's very broad stroke Storin. If you want like drink Makes sense drinks to me. or or food or whatnot, you know, you pay uh, First off, Iron paid. Paragon would know what money is because he would yeah. see it going around in the prison. <laughs> yeah. People that's making really... bets on him to die or to live. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. That's also fair. <laughs> Unfortunately, he won those. I'm gonna pull one. I'm gonna pull one of each coins, and I'm just gonna explain the exchange rates and shit. Okay. See, that's something I wouldn't know. Yeah. That's what he's explained. So 20 of these is one of these, 20 of these is one of these, 20 of these is one of these. Shut the fuck up! This is a base value, and it, these coins are rather old. Uh, they are twice the worth of these coins ever since the gnomes started trading in them the for twice the amount of gold. The and these, pla these platinum coins, which we are being paid with, are worth 20 of these coins. Hmm. Shocking grasp. What? <laughs> Shocking grasp. What? Shocking grasp. Why did you- what? On who? You know who. Me? No, Torin. Okay, well he's oh. resistant to lightning, so he only takes three damage. Th that's, that's okay. Good. But I mean, uh, you do knock him unconscious because he was resurrected. He was resurrected <laughs> at 1 HP. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, you just say, you We didn't heal Ra raise that brings you back to one HP, and we never healed. So, uh, oh no! <laughs> what, what have you done? I, I can't. Oh, this is this is bad. I just raised him. I I use fucking uh, I use cure wounds on him. I use uh, yeah, what use level? One, one. Wait, let me just. Okay, Callum, set him again. Maybe you'll knock him again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what? <clears throat> um, what yeah? happened? I, just, I, uh, I, I, I help him up. Uh, I, I started, uh, I started, uh, scalding yep. Calamus. Calamus, you can't just do that to our friend that we just brought back. Mm, I, 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 put hand, I put my hand... No, no, I'm gonna pull Calamus away. I'm gonna pull Calamus away. Calamus's head. You know, Calamus, you have a very, very small head. And I have a very, very big head. Do you understand yes. what I'm saying? Okay, this is We're going to pretty kill rich you. coming from the. <laughs> this is pretty rich coming from the guy who just got knocked out. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze his head just a little bit. Make us make an athletics check. <laughs> uh, that's twenty-three. Your head is just like you can feel his claws, kind of like. Not quite breaking the skin, but you feel like if he even tried, even in his current state, he could pop your head like a pimple. Can I, can I green flame blade my own hand? No. <laughs> okay. Green flame hand. Yeah. The blade. Seeing, seeing uh, it requires how a weapon attack. slightly immature my party is, I'm going to just put all of my lay on hands into myself. <laughs> just from the get-go, just to... I don't want to risk it. How much would you have? Because <laughs> you haven't... But you died, and you used them when you, before. Right. So, so uh, I guess I wouldn't actually have a... Yeah, you before. haven't long did rested. He, did, he, did he get a short rest while we were in the carriage? It doesn't matter. It doesn't come mm. back on a long rest or a short rest. Yeah, yeah it does. Does? What? Yeah. Uh, I guess I could cast pr uh, Prayer of Healing if... It's alright, it's alright. I just... Okay. I don't really trust Kellums anymore. 
I you know that. what? That really was not my intention. I'm saying that out of game. <laughs> <laughs> that was really not my intention. It is a long rest, by the way. Oh shit, it is. Yeah. I've been playing Paladin long for a very long time. Well, um, now that we have our money, excuse me, I have to go get drunk. I'm just gonna walk out <laughs> and head straight to the uh, to that old tavern or to that you know adventurous tavern. Yeah, the adventurers. Yeah. Can we get back to the Ergo screen? Oh yeah, sorry, I have been on the Ergo screen. Yeah, I've seen you guys the stream, are... homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none Ergonus. of us have been looking at Ergos. Yeah, I like how you still have the like toothpick thing, Skylar, from last night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you think I'm doing when I'm just letting you guys talk? I'm gonna sit here and pick my nose? No, I gotta stop that. <laughs> that's that's very fair. Can I watch you pick your nose? Yeah. I head straight to uh, the Hall of Virgos. Uh, Paragon, come with me. We have some fun times at this. No. All right. So it's about uh, four o'clock. I'm and... Paragon is just walking around with a big ass sack of platinum in one hand right now. He's like, uh... Uh, Paragon, do you want to perhaps... Oh, actually, this bag of gold is pretty... Pretty full now that I see what we've all put into it. Uh, we'll deal with this on another day. Uh, Paragon, just... Yeah. I don't know, do you have a bag? I have a backpack. Raelian's yeah, gonna find that. Disaster, and she's gonna wrap her arm around his, and she's gonna go... Say, speaking of, speaking of your, uh, bag of holding and whatnot... There's quite a lot of items in there, which we might need to sell. And we could do it now, since I don't have anything better to do. I don't like drinking that much. I thought we were going to go get shit-faced. Well, That's you are, but exciting. I'm saying... Yeah, you are. Just give me the bag of holding and disaster, and I will take care of the selling. I mean, I guess. Yeah? Don't don't sell any of those bottles of alcohol that we found in that keep. Take them out. Why don't you just go somewhere nice, just... Oh wait. This oh, hey. is Make for sure. when we're getting when we need to drink, but we're not in a town. That's that's fair. Uh, question: the metal boots that are in the bag of holding, the fuck yeah. are those? The metal boots. She, uh, she's not gonna sell those. I'll but... state that everything has been identified. Um, yeah. yeah. The metal boots, if you uh, clink them together and say the command word, they will cover your body and turn into plus one full plate. Oh, I don't want that. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the only thing I was wondering about. Okay. So. All right. So <laughs> you guys are gonna take the book, or sorry, the bag, and yep. essentially go sell some stuff, and they're gonna yep. go get absolutely shit faced. Exactly. Uh, we can do it in either order. Well, the shit facing part, I can just state you guys drink a, a certain amount, and then we'll uh, come for back. for the first. For the first, like, hour of it, Torn's gonna just, you know, drink lightly. It's just gonna be a short rest, so I can get all yeah. my hit dies that I didn't end up using. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so let me gonna... just find some tavern music now. Instead of fucking cathedral music, I suppose. By the way, I assume we would have also gotten our animals back. <clears throat> Your anal? What? Your animals. animals. We would have gotten oh, them back. Yeah, they would have been on the boat. <laughs> yeah, so we got, we no, got we them out of there. The <laughs> let's let's the retcon the far fact. Okay, let's say that my cat has been around my neck all the No, your cat was outside miserable and hates you now. Amazing. Also, yeah. Uh, Some kids adopted them. Oh. Wow. I already have it? plans for the cat, Paragon. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you guys got your dog, your cat, and your bear back. So, right. let's we'll start with you two, whiskey. just simply. You, uh, you enter the the place. It's kind of empty. It's only 3 o'clock, not many people drinking. It's a fucking Thursday. Uh, the bartender isn't right behind on the counter, but you can see the good old, uh, good old uh, adventure uh, lady and the, uh, the bounty board. Hi, lady. We have, uh... We haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen you in a while. You haven't seen him ever. Oh, oh. Hi. You see, like, a, a small lady wearing, like, a... Pretty basic, like, formal wear. She's trying to look professional, but at the same time approachable. 
And she says, so, how do you do? Um, it's been quite a while, like maybe a week. Um, where have you been? Oh, oh, the usual. Killing pirates, giant monstrosities, and destroying people's brains on, you know, deserted islands. Ah. Sounds like a, a good day. Why are the dogs barking? It, it was not. It, it was not. It was absolutely No, that's terrible. my dog. Uh, well, uh, oh, my dog's that's why we're here. Ah, yes. Uh, the bartender will uh, probably be behind soon. It's just he's... Uh, it's been a very dead day. Well... No. Bartender! You hear a couple of rough and it's... <sighs> and uh, not the same man that you're used to seeing, but uh, kind of similar... A little bit shorter comes out. Ah, what can I do for you? Where's the other guy? Oh, me brother. Uh, he's uh, he's not feeling so well. Uh, after you know the whole uh, incident with the ship, uh, I believe he took a little bit of uh, time off. Ah, very well. Uh, so how much does an ale cost? Well, the the average four silver. And then we got specialties for six, eight, and ten. I lay down ten platinum coins. Is Whoa. this enough to get everyone who comes into this bar shit-faced for the night? He sits there and he starts counting on his fingers. So, how much is ten platinum? So, ten platinum is two hundred gold? Yeah. And two hundred yep. gold is... Uh, eight hundred silver? No, more than that. 4,000 silver. That's right, 4,000. He just sits there and he's like, he's just, yeah, yeah, that, that, that would do her. Very well. Drinks on me for everyone. He goes in the back and he comes back and instead of having two drinks, he puts two uh, empty mugs down in front of you and then he comes back with an entire unopened um, crate, or not crate, sorry, barrel. He taps it right in front of you, opens it up and says, this this is our nice, great, high-quality fire whiskey. Perfect. Just and he what just a man needs. Gives you, he gives you an entire cup of it, and then he gives an entire cup of it to uh, to uh, you, uh, Iron Paragon. Hmm. I'm going to drink some, then I'm going to look at Torin and say, it's not as strong, but it tastes better than the piss they used to brew in the toilets in the prison. I imagine so. It has a very cinnamony and gingery taste. Well, I suppose to escaping the jaws of death. And I just clink my mug against uh, Paragons and down it. Alright, we'll come back to you guys in however long it takes these guys to go shopping. <laughs> yes. I guess Callum is coming as well. I assume so. He's not much of a drinker. Uh, Tartarek, are you coming shopping? I don't think you're a drinker. Uh, no, I'm not a drinker, so... Uh, I don't know. Uh... You might want to pick up something, like, you know you know what? No, Raylan's gonna pull you over to get some, yourself some stuff. They've got money, they got items, uh, you don't, so... True, true. He did yes, get 500 I... platinum. That is true, but he, well, he has money, doesn't have items. God knows. <sighs> yes, I, I guess it's good for me to restock, yes. You say restock. Just stock up in general. Just stock, what have you got on you? Uh, yeah, so that's true. I, I don't have much. So, so I'm not saying you don't have go. much. I'm saying you could use more. So. Yes, yes. Uh, Where are you going to head off to first? Uh, first of all, uh, to um, the bank so we can exchange some of the money. Okay. Oh shit, I'm actually gonna head off now because I have work tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, 10 o'clock, I guess. Yeah. Aw, oh, now I was guys... about to have them see Trickster. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Alright, thanks for popping in. Yeah. Bye, I'm good at the time. See ya. Um, yeah, you know what? I actually, uh, I might go to the bank and exchange my, my gold into plat. What do you All mean? Right. Oh yeah. 
that. So you're all going to head to the bank. Uh, I'm not going to bother with much uh, semantics here. You can just convert how you want to convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Tartarek, you recall you had 2,000 gold in the bank. 2,000 gold in the bank. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll do anything in the bank. I'm just going to keep my stuff as is. Okay. So, like... Yeah. Math. Okay, I have 635 gold pieces aside from the 500 plat. That is a lot of money. Uh, okay. Well, uh, so we're gonna essentially pop into the... Okay, after the bank sort of stuff, we're gonna go to, um... Use ma magic wares. Okay. Um... Uh, actually, no, can we can we say that? No, we, we go to the jewelers first, because we have stuff to sell. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, she's gonna. Who, who who do I find at the counter? Uh, so instead of the lady that you found once before that you sold the crown to, you now see a uh, a furry like cat person wearing many jewels on their fingers and uh, piercings on their little kitty ears, and they go, "Hmm, hello." Hello. You look fabulous, might I say? <laughs> Thank uh, you. I'd also like to ask, what happened to the old lady that was here? Uh, oh, some time ago, we went... She came across a large uh, amount of money and uh, disappeared. So I took up her shop. I see. All right. <laughs> she, uh, uh, can I roll insight for, you know, maybe that was the crown? No, you knew it was the crown. Cause yeah, you, you knew it was worth more than what you expected it to be worth. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, whatever might be the case, we have some things to sell. Some some jewels, first of all. Um, we just came here. Uh, are you? I assume you're familiar with uh, Lord Thurman, the. the she bastard shakes her head. No, I uh, do not recall uh, that name. Is he? Were you here for the attack from a week ago? Uh, I just came into town and I saw the airship, but uh, I personally was not uh, affected by it. It was terrible, of course, but uh, yeah. mm -hmm. is this something to do with that? We have things to sell that we, uh, so to speak, took from uh, from the man who was responsible. She puts for her this finger mess. over her mouth. Shh, if you've stolen something, I don't care. I mean. Yeah, I guess then we stole it. Like, I don't have any shame in admitting that. <clears throat> she puts her fingers. No. Yeah, fair. So, uh, right. First of all, uh, I think we had jewels on us, right? Uh, that we found in the in the little coffin, you know, from the from the pirates. Or was that? You'll have remember? to check over all that stuff, man. I don't right, organize I'll your open inventory. The bag and tell you I, I'm also looking at the bag of holding. Of gems we have in here. Right. So there's a bag of gems worth a thousand gold. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let me scroll back up and see. Uh, party farmers. But jewels worth two thousand gold. That too. The, the, so so three thousand gold jewels in total. Um, assorted jewels as well. I think yep, those were the ones worth a thousand in total as well. <clears throat> I think those came in like a box. Yes, they came in 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 the box. Yeah. We found it the pirates thing, yeah. like undead pirates. Uh, so sort of jewels, bag of gems worth a thousand. Uh, chest, the, the chest that was worth two thousand. Oh, disaster also has the the gem dust that is worth however much. Gem dust would be I, more something that he could bring to uh, maybe an alchemist or a magic that's, shop. That's fair. Actually, I think the assorted jewels were worth more than a thousand gold because it weighs twenty pounds. Oh, okay. I know that that some of that's the box that it comes in. Yeah, but, but think about it. Yeah. If it's a tw if it's a box and a bunch of jewels that weigh twenty pounds total, it's gonna be some. It's gonna be a lot of jewels. I think. Yeah, that's but it could also be a lot of ten gold jewels. Yeah. No. All right. So you know we're gonna we're gonna have those appraised pretty much, and you know how much could we get for this sort of jewels? <clears throat> Well, I'll say, so in, can we just do some quick math for it? Like, write it into the... Thing yeah, I'm, I'm, 
I'm writing. I'm writing a word document. Let me push my dice aside. I'll be using those. It seems. Um. So, we got bag worth two k. <clears throat> we got another bag worth one k. Uh, and we got a sort of jewels worth. I don't know how much, but it's a twenty pound box. So, twenty pounds of jewels. So far. Okay. We also got. Three, um, we got, we got a three-foot platinum statue of Thurman, although that might be for the gnomes. Um, it was adamantite, not platinum. Oh, no, it was one of platinum. Oh. And there's another one out of adamantite. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, we got two. He's, he's a and very vain bastard. also one out of marble. Yes, which we smashed, or Yeah, the smashed. marble one was smashed. <clears throat> okay. We also have three, uh, tools made out of platinum, and they're magical, but yeah. So, uh, how much do we get for those sort of jewels? 20 pounds worth? I wanted you to write it in so I could quickly look at it. and put it. Oh, oh like in Discord? Uh, sorry, in, in Roll20? Yeah. That was what I asked. <laughs> oh. oh. I'll just copy-paste them. So I'll assume you put all these down in front, and the the cat lady just goes, "Oh my! Mm -hmm. You come to me with many, many gifts." We do. She looks over them. She's like, "I couldn't sim I can't simply look at all of these. I will give you a uh, a base price for all all of it. I assume. Or do you have an offering?" Hmm. Ten thousand. Star. Uh... Let me think. <laughs> I know, I know. She's she's gonna. Uh, can I? Can I? By the way, also have disaster pretty much do, do the like bribing, not bribing part, uh, negotiating part since he's got higher. Can somebody give me access to his sheep? I'm going to state right now. He is most likely already gone to KFC to attempt to uh, upgrade his boy. I suppose so. So it's it's me then. Let me look at my sheet. Hold on. No, no. I'm looking for anything else that might Are you be putting up the statues as well? Um, the statues, no. Okay. Not yet. No. But I'm going to ask if, if, if they take platinum. As in, if they... If they what <clears throat> statues? Or with, with just platinum or other metals. Or no, just precious metals in, in the form of other objects. Okay, can you give me a price now? I don't oh, want to take um, another one of those. I was, I was gonna, uh, she's she's going to ask for 7,500 gold. She looks over it. She's... Ah. Well, it seems you have a lot of gems, but uh, 6,000. Mm. 65? Make a make a persuasion. All right. Where's my persuasion? Okay. That is. Ooh, uh. No, that's that's not good. Total. No, that's sixteen. Oh, you tied then. Oh. You know what? I need these anyways. I'll I call it sixty-five hundred. Okay. Thank you. Do you prefer gold, old gold, or platinum? Um, platinum will do. Okay, now, how much is 60, that? In 65 platinum? divided by 20... 325. Yeah, 325 okay, platinum. So she goes in the back and she comes... I'm going to see if she has 325 platinum. She mm -hmm. comes back with 325 platinum. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, I rolled a fucking 18. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, is there uh, anything else I oh. can do for you? Yes. Uh, my question is if you have, or if you know where we could trade, uh, you know, from. Uh, hold on. Adam, uh, remove the, the, the things out of the, the bag of holes. I am. Uh, okay. Um, we have some other objects uh, that are made of precious metals, and we'd like to know if Ooh. where we could sell them. May I see them? Prepare your eyes. And she's gonna pull out the, the, the adamantine statue first. 
because that's not anything special. Then she's going to pull out the platinum tools. Lay so them she out looks one by at one. The, the adamantine statue. She's like, this is wonderful work, but uh, I don't think I can work on this for what it's made out of. And she kind of just clicks it with her finger. Nothing I have will break that. Um, she looks she's at the gonna... tools and she says, these are far too large for me, but I uh, assure you, you might be able to sell them to uh, one of the blacksmiths. What about um, this? And she's going to pull out the three-foot statue of Thurman in platinum. Now that... Is precious. I would be able to melt that down. Because huh? I do not want a statue of a man like that. Especially one who is uh, <laughs> dead. But... Oh. Yeah. Well, that usually uh, drives up the price. But when no one knows who they are, mm. it does not. But I, um... I assure you, the people of this town wouldn't know who Thurman is. No. She lifts it up and weighs it. She's yeah, how much would it weigh? <clears throat> so it's 10 pounds. Um, okay. Platinum's a relatively light metal, I believe. Oh, um, neat. I thought it was heavier. Go on. Um, now, I could probably give you... Because it's just, just the metal, but it's also still platinum... You know what? I'm going to check its grade. And she goes in the back and comes back with one of those little thing monocles. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Monoculars. Yep. Mm -hmm. And she kind of looks at it and she she's hitting it with like a small hammer. Mm -hmm. It's quite high grade. Not the highest, but nonetheless, I can give you four thousand gold for it. Hmm. Maybe six thousand instead. I, I roll persuasion with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, where's my d20? Other d20. Where's my other d20? Come on, homie. Where's your other d20? Well, there's, there's. I don't. Where's the matching d20? Whatever. I'll roll it for you. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh. Another sixteen. Yeah. Not, I rolled 16 and 9. nine she rolls over. her eyes at you. Have you not robbed me blind enough yet? 4,000. Fine. And in platinum, if you could. Might as well be melting okay. it down. I don't think I have that much in platinum. Um, I can gold, give then? it to you in old gold. Old gold will do. We'll exchange that at the bank. She goes back, and she comes back with a rather large bag with 2,000 old gold. Oh. So She's like, this is now. just about all my old gold, but trust me, I'm going to be able to make some money. I, I, I'm sure about that. Now, is there anything you would like to buy? <sighs> so I assume you're uh, out of the possibility of giving us payment for things. I still have money, but uh, I am running quite low now. I suppose. Uh, we'll let you restock, so to speak. I, I believe this is everything we have in jewelry. Uh, we have things that maybe you could furnish, like um, give us some information. We have uh, some peculiar things, such as uh, the hide of an exotic beast. Um, we have some... Maybe, where do you think we could take that? General store, maybe? A uh, hide? Yes. You could probably bring that to the tannery. You're right. Mm, thank you. Well, that'll that'll be. Uh, oh. So we'll yeah. quickly switch back to them. So it's been yep. about fifteen minutes, and you. How quickly would you say you're drinking, um, Torn? After the first glass, not that quickly. You know, spacing it out just so that it the, the fun lasts a bit longer. Uh, so you're sitting there, you're trying to have a good time, but. Uh, Iron Paragon's just sitting there drinking and brooding. He's just... Paragon, you'll have to, um... You'll have to lighten up a little bit, you know. He just looks over at you. We made it out. You made it out. You're free, Paragon. If there's anything to, you know, be happy about. That'd be it. It's not that I'm not happy. I'm trying to wrap my head around this land. 
I spent 22 years in that prison. 22 years. It's a long time. Long time. Growing accustomed to this lifestyle is going to be almost impossible. I'm sure. But don't worry about it. You are our friends now. That means that we'll take care of in the best way we can. Hmm. Looks like I have to take care of you. <laughs> Don't go dying on me again. Don't worry about it. And we'll cut back to you guys. Right. So, where are you heading now? Uh, Tannery. Okay. So you walk in, it's just a, a rather young, spry-looking man. Um, I say man, it's more like a 19, maybe 20-year-old. And he's uh, currently uh, washing some uh, leathers. Oh, what can I do for you? Hello. Uh, by the way, Adam, um, Jeremy Redcon that Raylene would have asked you, maybe on the way back from... I'm back, am I dead? No. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually. Um, so really, maybe would have would have walked in, but she's still kind of busy, and uh, she's not gonna have a drink quite yet because she she wants to, uh, you know, barter on on a sober we head. Can't, we can't we can't retcon things, Ben. Okay, then before going to the tannery, we're gonna head there, or they're gonna leave out and say, can we sell your 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 plate your plate your ankylosaurus whatever? What? Your your ankylosaurus plate. Can we sell it? You know, for now, don't go <clears throat> selling off my things yet. Um, that's why we're that's why we're asking. Well, I'll figure out what to do with my things a different day. Right now, I'm having a drink. I see that. Right, you just we're gonna... see him. He's sitting there, and he's like, "Woo!" But not really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, <laughs> but, yeah, but so beside him is just Iron Paragon, who looks like he's gonna lean on the ch the table too much and then like push it down. Uh <laughs> Damn, Roland uh... has joined them, and uh, he's kind of at the end. He can't really sit down, so he's just kind of standing there, right? Drinking. Um, who else right. Uh... Also, she she would also like to ask if if anybody cares for the, you know, some of the more bizarre aspects of the the bag of holding, such as the winged coin. Uh, what does that do again? Because we said we identified it. It's a mark. You put it on uh, yourself, like a tattoo. Right. And it marks you, and you get uh, an ability. Okay. Uh, was it? Is it flight? I don't know how, what speed. Uh, do you want me to read it over again? You're supposed to write it down when I read it over. You know that, right? Write it where. It's write it where. What? Yeah. I, I have you a can quick write word it so many places. <laughs> you have a misc notes part of your fucking well, character sheet. That too. Anyway. Okay, so to um to be a lot to use it, right. you have to be good or neutral, not lawful right. or chaotic. Yeah. Uh, when you use it, allows the player to have flight a uh, fly speed of th uh, thirty or sorry forty, uh, for thirty minutes a day. Um, mm -hmm. you have the ability to ch uh, see into the ethereal plane if you so choose, and uh, you can understand and speak celestial. You just don't know you can. All right. Okay. Fair. Great. Uh, right, she's not gonna bother with you. Uh, okay, so, let's, uh, head over to the, uh, tannery and be like, Hello! We got some, uh, some unusual hide for you. Oh, let's me see it. Uh, now it's, speaking of hydra, uh, oh, shut it's... Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. She's gonna, she's gonna backhand the fuck out of Calamus. Shut um, alright, uh, <laughs> and she pulls out the 200 pounds worth of or at least he's, a bit of the piece pounds. by piece, and he's like the first ten pieces. He's like, "You got a lot of that in there," and you just yeah, keep we, going. We, we and he's just pounds. like, "Please stop!" <laughs> <laughs> you, you you get what I mean, though, right, Mister Tanner? Man, uh, what's the mute's name? Uh, no, there's no name to, for the person. Okay, His Tanner name's, uh, boy. is my dad. I'm, I see. I'm Tanner. I see Tanner. Thank you. Fuck off. <laughs> no, it's great. Shut up, Adam. Um, now, uh, let me see. How much would you be able to to 
give us for this? This is some some, some high. He's just sitting there with like a stupid look on his face. He's like, I've never, uh, never done anything with this kind of uh, hide. To be exact, he sits there and he starts rubbing it. Yeah. Huh? I said to be exact, it's a mutant Yanti. He's like no. rubbing it, and he's like, it's kind of scaly, but at the same time, it's smooth. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm guessing this is a water creature? Yes, some sort of Hydra and Yanti. Uh, if you're familiar with Lord Thurman, we got it off one of his beasts. Okay, I'll just tell you right now, no one is going to know who really? Lord Thurman is. Great, she's going to stop mentioning it then, as mm-hmm. soon as this guy gives her like a dumbfound look. Um, um, well, I'll tell you one thing, I definitely can't buy it off of you. Because I Too imagine much of it? this stuff is expensive. We're not exactly rich. Uh, how about this? Right. We'll try to make something out of it. Right. And uh, you come back to us in a couple of days. And Sounds then, good to based me. Based upon how what we make out of it, I'll tell you how much we can buy. Okay. And, uh, so how much of it do you need? I'll just need one piece because they are really big pieces, right? They're like yeah, I suppose so. The pieces themselves are probably like four or five feet long. And then, mm-hmm. like, four or five feet wide. Yep. By the way, how's Cash doing? Cash is probably still with us. He's he's a more quiet type, and uh, he's going to need some of this fashion into medium armor. Druids are proficient in it naturally, I assume? I have no idea. Uh, no, they're not. I'm pretty sure it's just light armor. Please don't. Please, 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 please let it be so item as a... a... Where would? Uh... Case. They are, you are you are wrong. They are proficient in it. Okay. Uh, okay. So he says. Uh, so um, you come back. Um, how about this? Maybe you could make this our friend over here, uh, the druids, and wear iron uh, or any other metal. Some medium armor made out of it, like medium. He looks size. at you and he's like, "How can I make medium armor out of hide? This is light armor. No matter how okay. you look at it. <laughs> Maybe." Uh, <laughs> if, 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 I, if I were to, um, could I commission perhaps a set of... Actually, I know who else would be interested in this. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, yeah, you, you... Sorry, but hide armor is medium. What? Hide armor is medium. Isn't leather also hide armor? No. It, it goes padded leather, stud leather, hide. Oh, okay. Fuck. Okay. Well, it's, it's not going to be the... I can't tell you what it'll be like, but I'll do my best. Well, we appreciate that. Um, we're gonna head over to to uh, KFC now. How much Hydra hides he taking up? All of it? He one only piece. Took one one piece. piece. Yeah. Okay. So how many pounds? Like ten? Twenty? Uh, five. Ten. Five. Oh, okay, fine. All right, where are you off to next? Uh, KFC. All right. So you walk into uh, the place, and uh, it's rather busy. But uh, after you wait a few minutes, you notice why it's busy. There's more than one craft. No. What? Mm-hmm. She you, is you, mighty... You see one in the back working, and then you see one at the front. She's gonna go over to the first one, the the, the counter. Oh, God, Hello? It's fucking druid again. You guys are back. It's good to see you. We got some yeah, business same. to do. So, uh, we got some some hide that you might be able to, you know, you might be interested in purchasing off of us. Uh, it's this stuff, and she's gonna show off the some some, some pieces of hydra hide. He's gonna pick it up. Bring it close to his face, smell it, mm-hmm. and then he's gonna lick it. What? Yeah. He's gonna lick Why? it. Yeah. He's gonna be like Hydra. That and a combination of what we assume is yant. And uh, I can taste some fire resistance in this. That's huh. okay. Good stuff. All mm. right, uh, what do you want me to do with it? Do you think you could um, buy any amount of it off of us? Oh, how much do you have? 
200 pounds worth, 195 pounds worth. Well, uh, I sure could. How much? But what if we only sold you? How much would you need for some hide armor? Uh, full coverage, probably five to ten pounds. That's fair. Hmm. Sell on the Warforged Core and construct metal scraps. I know. <laughs> uh, right. Well, uh, how much could you offer us for about 170 to 180 pounds of this? Oh, well, it's it's pretty rare stuff. Um, it is indeed. I, I think it's I'll one of a kind. You, unless... I'll give you twenty dollar twenty gold per five pounds. That's hmm. Plus, remember, huh. if you give it to me, I'm gonna be able to make stuff out of it for you. Of course. It's less that I'm uh, giving you this money and more like I'm giving you a deal. When you course. buy stuff uh, off me. Hmm. Six hundred eighty uh, gold. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm, do you think if 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 I asked you to get me some some magical leather armor like you can craft it? Uh, do you think you could reinforce it with some of this? Uh, that would, uh, probably make the craftsmanship not as, uh, good. Stable? It would fall apart. Be, yeah, mm. it's less stable. It would be better if I took this, made it into right. a, a pair of, uh, armor, and then maybe mm. I got someone to enchant it. I'm not quite at the, uh, the realm I of see. enchanting quite yet. I see. Wow. Boss man Speaking. in the back. You see other crafts working. Ah, uh, he's uh, he's working on getting that magic stuff. Oh, it's just so I weird. see. Now, why are there two of you? Oh well, uh, in his uh, idea of getting uh, better efficiency, he uh, went to the uh, magic shop, paid a hefty amount of gold, and uh, I was created. She's gonna. Can I? She's gonna stand there dumbfounded for a couple of seconds. Okay. Well. Uh. You said. You, you can How call about me. We, we... You can call me too if you want. Uh... No, we'll, we'll still call you Crafts. What would oh, you no. like to be called? Well, uh, I'm still Crafts, but. Uh... Right, we'll call you that then. Alright. I think. Yeah. Um. Now, I do wonder. Uh. I. Okay. She's gonna sell like 175 pounds of it. Okay. For 20 per five. So that's. Yeah, let's see. You can do the math to see how much we're technically taking out away from his pockets. Divided by five times 20. We're getting 700 gold for 175 pounds. Uh, so yeah, she's gonna hand him off that much because she might want the dude to fashion some stud leather armor. And he looks and at me and he's just like, oh, that's a lot, okay, um... It really is. I'm gonna go... Uh, he's like trying to figure out where to put it, because it makes up a lot of space. He just ends up throwing it in the back, he's like... Yep. Uh, that's, uh... He starts doing the math and he gives you the gold. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have a few other things. Now, you're, you're, uh... A, well, you do some smithery here, don't you? Oh, we do everything, we're just trying to learn how to do the magic part. I suppose so. I have this adamantine statue. Now, the statue isn't important. It's the adamantine that's important. Yeah. And she's going to pull it out. It's for, it's it's 60 pounds worth of adamantine. Like, How much do you think you could... Fine craftsmanship. Uh, sadly, because it's not raw, we'd have to melt it back down, so I can't give mm -hmm. you that much of a good deal I, with I, it. But nice. uh, it's enough to make a full suit of armor, so I could give you that price, uh, 500 gold. Sounds good. And he takes it and he looks at it and he's like, this is, this man's probably uh, got his head up his own ass. He takes well, it in the back and he just well, so. throws it on the ground. Yep, nice. Uh, we also have some something for you. Uh, look, Adam, you didn't want the fucking. Uh, she's gonna pull out the the, the, the magical. These are the, platinum and are magical. The Might what? the magical tools. Oh, okay. Chisels and hammers and whatnot. It's a total of three of them. 
you know what uh, i'm gonna get the boss man up here to look at that because uh, we have a pair but we could probably use with another i see and he, he goes to the back he taps the other crafts on the shoulder you can see there's a slight difference the crafts who works on the back is starting to grow a little bit of facial hair and he also right. looks more stern and they just right. sit there and they go back and forth back and forth and then he goes back to working and number two comes to the front mm -hmm. well uh he said he'll be able to buy uh the hammer and the chisel what was the third yeah, one i i don't remember but it was a third one uh, yeah because uh, i know because i know we uh, we identified uh two of them but we just you know there was a third one that i was just kind of standing with calamus and does that did their thing i don't know what the fuck it was either <laughs> we'll buy all three at uh mm -hmm. 250 gold each sounds good so 750 total for those from oh week. shut up we're gonna go to the bank and exchange it all no, I just don't remember how much. Okay, so 325 platinum, 2,000 old gold, 700 gold, 500 gold, and now this is 750 gold for, for these uh, chisels. Can you say that slower, please? No, no. I'm just going to pretend he said a lot. few years. Okay, so we also have uh, a, uh, a Warforged core, a big one we got from an airship. <sighs> She's going to... This is something the boss is going to like. How much do you want for it? Where's the core, Adam? I don't see it in the list. Oh, there is Warforged Core. It worth it's it's ten pounds. Huh? Maybe twenty five hundred gold. He's like, no idea. I'm gonna go ask the boss. That's fair. Yet again, goes back there. Baker's yep. back and forth. The boss comes up front. He looks at you. Good to see you back. Hello. Give you, give it's you been two thousand. Twenty-two hundred. He looks you in the eyes too. and he's like, "I know you're taking advantage of the young guy." Two thousand. <sighs> All right. Two thousand. He takes right. it. And he puts it in the back, and you can kind of see him smirk. And he's just like, "Yeah." And then <laughs> number two comes up front, and he gives you two thousand. Yes. All yes. right. Uh, now, yeah, would you like to buy anything? Well, we'll be buying stuff, but first, I'd like to exchange some things. Uh, would that be possible? I suppose so. Great. Uh, I suppose you have some magical items. Well, we do have some, not as much as we'd like. We've been selling them as of lately. All right. Uh, anything you're looking for? Yes. See, I'm looking for a cloak, or a ring, or boots. No, I already got boots. Damn. Speaking of, well, I'll get to those later. I want something to make me harder to hit. Like, or harder. Like, you know, I want people to not hit me as often. Well, I got two things for that. What do you think? Um, one of them is less magical and more just kind of helps you i oh i guess it's magical i don't know how this stuff works uh, he hasn't taught me enough about it anyways i'll go get him he goes to the back he climbs up a, a small like ladder looks at a few like drawers that are like in the workshop and he comes back and he puts down a cloak and he puts down two like metal bracers right so uh this here these bracers you put them on and uh you're able to kind of block things with them. He, it seemed to make people have an easier time dodging as well. Huh. And then this cloak, what about the cloak. The cloak is a little bit uh, scarier. It uh, kind of makes your form seem inconsistent. I see. She's uh, she's she's smiling. And oh, see, I'm like cloak of displacement. Give me that double disadvantage on opportunity attacks. Um, well, this one, a cloak, seems a fair bit more, more stylish. Uh, also, do you happen to have anything, how could I put this? Hmm. See, having a bow around is nice. She's going to pull out Rixora, mm -hmm. a plus two bow, and, and the, the, you know, 1d8 radiant bowstring. Yeah. Um... 
this this is I, ca I can't use this in combination with my weapons and I'm much more used to having two weapons out at one time do you have anything that could I don't know I'm looking for still something to, you know throw things shoot things but he hears you say shoot and he says no my boss huh? the man himself has been working with uh, a very important man from uh, from the east he's mm -hmm. been making uh, you might have seen him before uh, firearms oh, oh, oh I can get you something that'll uh, get you a little bang for your buck I have no idea what these even are or rather oh. I've heard of them I haven't no. I'll show you. And he goes to the back. Party that she's yeah. Yeah, one so party member who had a gun. Oh, really? Oh, oh, Stan, right. And Sorry. My bad, I forgot about him. Uh. Oh, gun. Goes in the back and comes back with, um, what is the equivalent of a revolver? Right. He puts it down, and then another one that's just like, it's the a little palm pistol. Uh-huh. Uh, I see. These. Um, now you'll need to get training with them, but um, of course. they're quite powerful. And, I uh, understand. I have specialized ammo for them. Hmm. Uh, speaking of, these these arrows that... Oh, oh she's going to pull out the two arrows. Not right now, but... She, 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 her mind is going to flash to it. So... I see. Uh, this is This is interesting. I know somebody that worked with us briefly um, used something similar to this, it's much longer. Uh, I will maybe come back to you regarding this. All but right. uh, have you got anything uh, more silent? Silent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, back, I'm back. Yes. Maybe something that would <clears throat> give the impression that I have anything in terms of weaponry on me. I could just well for range. Hmm. There's something that uh, the boss has been working on. I'll go see if he's done with it. All right. And uh, a couple of minutes of bickering, he goes out and he brings out like this nice-looking box that's like four feet long and only about foot foot and a half wide. And he okay. opens it up, and he pulls out this mechanical-looking bow that has, like, all these pieces on it to help it fire. Right. Hmm. So this is something that he's uh, he's been working on. Um, mechanical bow. Yeah, so when you're using it, it assists you. It helps you with right. the, the, the drawing. Um, and it, it can hold more than one arrow. So... You could take two shots. Oh. Is it magic? Oh, I assume. It doesn't even need to be magical. It's, it's not magical. It's just a mechanical Yeah, compound. but the arrows would be fire with it. could be magical, so that, that'd be neat. Uh, I will very much keep this in mind. How much would this cost? So this is a, this is a rarity piece right here. This is, this is a specialty. Um... There are two things you can do. You can either put some money down to get it when we make a second one, because we right. want to make sure it runs, or you can buy the entirety of it right now for a little bit more because it's, well, he wants to make sure he makes a perfect replica. I suppose so. So uh, it's either 4,000 or 5,000 gold. Uh, like, if I wait, I'll pay 4,000 if yeah. I take it now? Okay. Uh, I will, I'll wait. I will wait. Uh, as well, uh, we've been working on some interesting arrows. Mm -hmm. And he pulls out three. One of them uh, just kind of has a, a, a really, really sharp-looking tip. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one, uh, just just a little bit more power behind it. And uh, very useful for making enemies bleed I see uh, so this one wound, more damage uh, this one here when it goes inside the enemy it opens right. up oh that's nasty what does that cause 
uh, it does some very nasty things. It makes it so if they pull the arrow out, they're doing more damage than they are causing. Well, that's saving. They're saving. I mean, yeah. and then this final one is a net arrow. You fire it at someone, and instead of hurting them, it deploys a net and wraps them up in it. I see. Uh, she is also going to, um, alright, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's, she, she wants to, like, browse through more of the inventory, but, like, to cut straight to the chase, uh, I want bracers, Skylar. You want the bracers? The flying daggers, yes. Oh, the flying daggers? They, yes. uh, it wouldn't be here. Okay, uh, she'll look for them elsewhere or during the, uh, free time. Um... I believe that's everything. Adam, are you, like, do you think there's anything else there there is to sell? Well, the adamantine plate armor. Construct. Uh, you don't want to buy any of the other things that he's trying to sell? Uh, he's not going to buy arrows now. Uh, she's not going to buy arrows. Uh, okay. She's going to wait for the, for, the, for the copy of the bow to be made, if anything. Oh, she's um, not going to even buy the bracers or the... Uh... What bracers? Oh, the, the bracer protection? I don't, yeah. I, I don't think I have enough money on my own... Oh, I might might for the for the cloak of displacement. Uh, she she's gonna ask him to. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna need to make sure all our found uh, all our money's rounded up, and we're gonna divvy it up between the party members. And then I'm gonna come back here and definitely get this this cloak off of your hands. He nods. I don't know how you don't have enough money. You got five hundred platinum. Oh, I I know, but I want to just make sure the the like, I've got enough for other things as well. I want the bracers. I want maybe even. An amulet of, of health, if I can have the money. But that's not the point. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let me. So yeah, she's gonna. Let me see. So, uh, breastplate. What? What's the? Oh yeah, that, that's the that's the magical. Um, that's Adam Adamantine breastplate, right, Scott? Uh, Adam? No, that was just a breastplate that I bought so that I wouldn't be sinking in water if I got thrown overboard. Okay. I got an adamantine plate from that one guy, and that's what I was wearing into battle. Yeah. And no, we got we got two of them because I wore one and one was a bag of holes on the dude uh, that wore two hundred. I don't remember what you did with that one, but we. I I, I I I put it back in the bag of holding. Okay. It, it should have been there. Basically, we got two sets of adamantine plate armor. Uh, no, one of which no, was the second one wasn't plate. You were wearing oh a half plate. No, not half plate. Breastplate was a breastplate. Uh, because I knew I had eighteen AC, and usually I had nineteen. But yeah, it, we, so she's gonna pull out a set of adamantine plate armor and, and an adamantine breastplate. So, uh, we got these. Uh, from what we know, they're magical of some sort. Just basic adamantine, I believe. Uh, but yeah, could we sell these uh, for some amount? What? Skylar, uh, adamantine plate armor and adamantine breastplate. We wanna sell it. Okay. Uh, adamantine plate armor will be 2,000 gold, and and the breastplate? Yes. Let's quickly look at what breastplate is costing. Okay, breastplate is for uh, 900 gold then. So 900 okay. gold and uh, 2,000 gold. It's 2,900 gold. Okay. But just so you know, not here. <laughs> yeah. Well, just just sold. Well, so uh, go so... to the blacksmith and do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, metal scraps. Where are they? Metal remains. Construct metal scraps right at the top. Yep. Uh. Yeah, construct. Uh, she's gonna pull out. The, she's gonna pull uh, the bag and she's gonna show some of the the construct metal scraps. There's 180 pounds of them. Jesus. We, we, we got up. a lot of shit. Yeah, we do. We See, this is the way we should empty it. Yeah. He takes a gander and he's just like, oof. Now, Maybe this is call just the scraps, but it'd be pretty useful for with the core that you gave us, so, uh... Exactly. I remember that, uh, what's it called? When we first came here, Kraft said that it was really good metal. Yeah. Yeah. And it conducted magic really well. Yeah. Yes. He's like, uh, but he's looking at me. He's like, I'll tell you right now, I'd normally give you a higher price, but I wouldn't be able to. We wouldn't be able to buy all this right now. You've, uh, we're already running out of the money. Well, that sounds good. Well, uh, come back another day. 
But, uh... I, I suppose we'll keep this for you, then? Well, I don't know who else would buy it. Uh, good point. So, anything else? Uh, would you buy, would you buy arrows? Uh, no, not particularly. Okay, we'll go to the to the Fletchers and then see if they could do. He knows. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, have yourself a good day. Well, you too. Cut back to Paragon and. Torn. Uh, we're gonna cut for a break because I need oh. to pee. Same. BRB. Wait. 19, 16, 14. What do you want? Okay, so. How much did we sell the platinum statue for? Uh, the platinum statue for uh, da, da, da. Right. so okay. Well, the, the first thing I saw, okay, we got three twenty-five gold from. Where was that? We got six sixty-five thousand or sixty-five hundred from the jewel uh, from the jewels. Yes. The platinum, I don't know. The the hide, okay, so... the hide I don't know. The magic yeah. Tools, so let, let let me show you a screenshot of of uh, what what we got. Uh, we could theoretically even even watch the stream back, but what? Well, I'm writing my notes right now. I am as well. I just kind of mm. missed the prices of four of the items that we sold. Uh, I hold on. Well, it was sixty-five. So, so sixty-five hundred. Uh, it was two. That was. So those were the jewels. It means uh, uh, two thousand. The the. the Statue of Thurman and Platinum was 2,000 old gold, so that's 4,000 gold. And that's the statue. Uh, then we got 700 gold and 500 gold from somewhere else. 750 for, for tools. Uh, for yeah, for the for the, yeah. Hydra hide, I mean. 700. Uh, Hydra hide was 700, uh, and we still have 25 pounds for armor. Um, 500 gold. Where did we get the 500 gold from? Uh. The maybe the platinum tools? No, that was seven fifty. The platinum tools were seven fifty. Yeah, the the core was two thousand. Armors were twenty nine hundred. Well, how are still because we haven't sold them yet. Audio, how how much was the adamantine statue? I think that, that would have been that would that would have been the um the the five hundred, I believe. Are you sure? Yeah, because he said that's that's the equivalent of a of a of a suit of uh, of armor, or you know, adamantine suit of armor, because sure. it's an uncommon. So five hundred. Thousand one hundred. Uh, that's two thousand. Two thousand five hundred. Uh. 3,250, 3,950 gold. Right, hold on. Uh... Oh, wait, no, that's old gold. So Yeah, so it's 4,000 regular gold. Yeah. And also, my math was wrong because it's over thousand, because we, it's in thousands, sorry. It's, uh, 10,000... 500. Well, uh, hold on. Let me show you the thing. 11. Take a look in chat. Take a look in chat. Yeah. The armors we haven't sold yet, the last one, the last entry, but everything else we sold. Um, and that's the total amount of gold we have thus far. Yeah. So, that is, is quite a bunch. Yeah, go take your piss now. You're quite right. a bunch. Boy, is. Big boy, big giant boy, large boy. Daniel, you should probably figure out what you want to do for the uh, for the long break that we're gonna have now. Oh, that's happening now. Probably, yeah. I uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I've been like kind of confused when that was going to start. Well, it's gonna start when we after we. Well, it's technically already started. We're just playing out the first day, maybe two. Well, right, you know, but. We'll play... Okay. We're gonna have basically three months during which you can learn two feats and pick I up a couple extra skills, if I understand. I have two feet. Uh, well, you can get two more, <gasps> and then you can have four feats. Oh, I should get warcaster. I should get warcaster, shouldn't I? 
you can be halfway to an octopus. That's fucked up. Uh, That's fucked up. You should probably get Warcaster, yeah. I have a smooth brain. Yeah. So you and uh, you and Torin are gonna just go to the fucking somewhere magic place. I think it's the library. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna go to the grand library and we're just we're gonna like, hey, gonna light, mages. We're gonna, we're gonna light up behind the library. Yeah. We're just gonna be like, hey, mages, can you give us some uh? Oh, that good Kush. Warhammers, or I mean, uh, warcasters. And oh, I'm... wait, you're also getting it. Yeah, I need Warcaster. I hate you. Because I'm going to start being I a shield. I want to feel unique. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna start being a shield and hammer guy. Uh, so if I want to cast any spells, I'm going to need that war Warcaster. Which sucks, because I was going to learn Fellhanded now, but... Nope. I guess I won't be able to knock people prone without, you know, a saving throw, whatever. Well, if everyone else is gone, I'll be right back to see what's going on. See what's going on. So... Yeah. Okay. Good again, good again, good again. Get out of here, oh, shoe. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, what else do we have to sell? Oh yeah, the four armor sets, the four nice armor sets. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been keeping tabs. I know you haven't. I can't. I can't tell that was an insult. Was that an insult? No. Okay. It was an acknowledgement. Oh. Yeah. No. I don't care about that. Of course you are. Is that an insult? It was an acknowledgement. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Triple disadvantage, 23 to hit. Hmm. I do hate Konami so much. What'd they do this time? No, I just hate them in general. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, remind me, is are Konami the ones in, that have their hands on the Castlevania IP? Yes. Okay. They've had it for as long as it... I.e. Almost 30 years. No, no, 30-something, 30... -something, 30 one or two, I think. Well, I'm kind of... ...fucking gay. I, I bet you are. Hello? Did I just come back to you hearing you swear Hello. on my stream? I am torn. I'll see you. What? Your Randy, mom? did I come back to hear you swearing on my stream? No! On your Christian wow. gay. I heard you saying gay. No. That's, a, that's an yeah, yeah. Just so you know, I was still streaming. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it's fine, dude. He is—he is in fact gay. All right, so we're gonna hurry this up a little bit because I realized how late it is. Yep. Easy. Uh, all right, so <sighs> we're gonna keep the magic items. We're gonna reorder them around. Uh, how much do we get for the for the four? We're gonna go go to the Smith next. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do we get for the four thousand? Sorry, four suits of uh, of uh, armor. The the nice armor you said we take back with us, and for the for the adamantine this plate, and we got the place for for, for the, for the uh, adamantine plate and breastplate. What about okay, the well? Four? They won't be able to buy it all. Just so you know, blacksmiths okay. usually don't carry fucking twenty thousand gold in their coffers. That's fair. So you have. The adamantine half, the adamantine full, that's 2,900 there. Yep. Then you have the uh, three other fulls, that's 4,500. Four. We got four oh, arms. Four? Okay, said, so that's yeah, 6,000. So you'll be able to uh, uh, get <sighs> two of those and the two other ones. So that would be 5,900. Uh, could we set that over the next following few days? We'd, we'd take trips and stealth? You know the rest. Yeah. All right. So, so six thousand for the four uh, suits. Uh, yeah. Full. And then, so eight thousand nine hundred total. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else did we? Okay. And and over the next following days, how much would we get from crafts for the scraps? Uh. One eighty pounds. One hundred eighty pounds. He'd probably buy it at about twenty-five gold a pound. He said that he didn't have enough money left. Yes, yeah, so but we, if I we go over the, next, the next few days. Oh, all, all over the next few days. Yeah. So 25 per pound? Yeah, so... 25 times 180 is... 4,500? Yep. 4,500 
between parentheses, scraps. Uh, Adam, do we have anything el else left to sell, aside from magic stuff? Uh, Mall of Fire? You know what, let me deal with my things. Okay. You'll be able to do this stuff in downtime, you don't need to worry that much. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. And, sorry, the metal scraps were 25 per pound, right? I have uh, the whole list here, homie. Okay, I'm writing in my notes, my guy. Yeah, if you want, I'll send you the screenshot. Or just copy-paste the text. Um... Right. So the mall of... Uh, right, Skylar. So, uh, I'll, I'll also go to use to check if they have the, the, the bracer of daggers. Ah, uh, that is a rare? Yep. No, they don't. Beast. But... Uh, I'll state that uh, he'll put an order out for it, right. and uh, it will might be able to two to three weeks to get it. All right. But uh, you'll be able to get it in your downtime. Exactly. And do we just state today what we do in our, in our downtime? Kind of. You don't have much time left. Yep. Let me just do, uh, so the three 325 platinum is just 6,500 gold. Uh... Let me add up all the gold we have. You can just turn okay. it to platinum. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, okay, so 65 uh, plus 4,000. And then plus... divide it all by 20? Of course. Plus 500, plus... And then divide it further by 8. Yep. Plus 750 for the tools. Plus 2,000 for the core, which was a ripoff. Plus 4,500 for the scraps, plus... 29... for the magic armor, plus 6,000. Okay, that's a lot of money. Uh, would, would Torrin sell his, his, um... Ankylosaurus full plate? No, he told you that he'd do this yeah, stuff in his own time. Okay. Uh, same for the mall. Okay, well, that's that is a an, an amount. Whoopsie doodle. Did you? One moment. Okay. And that goes divided by... 8. Uh, no, uh, 12, 21st. That's an amount. That's We got um, 1,392.5 platinum. Uh, so divide that by 8. Means each one of us has uh, 174 platinum extra. With one platinum remaining. Can we just put that in the party fund? Yep. <laughs> That'd be nice. 174, you said? Yes, 174 platinum for each one of us, for the items thus far. Also... And let's try not what? to get our riches trapped in the mirror this time. Oh, speaking of, Skylar, would we get anything for the scraps of, uh, of shit? Sorry, mirror? Probably not. No. It's completely I mean, I'm pretty sure he would lose his magical properties after No, not, 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 not those. The ones we unmounted from the... put in the bag. Um, no, it would be considered an evil item. Oh, okay. Ew. Oh, speaking of, I... Alright, okay, that'll be for me. what was the platinum amount? 174 platinum. Okay. Because I'm adding it into the people who are not here's inventory? Yes, yes, yes. Do you have that all added into yours, uh, Dan? Uh, yeah, uh... Well, I have the 500 platinum. More. Okay, what else add I the add? 174. So it's it's a total of 674 platinum. platinum that we all got. 674. Okay, 674. Yep. Uh, platinum, not, not gold, because that'd be terrible. It wouldn't be terrible, but it wouldn't be as good. Of course, it wouldn't be as good. Man, I just love the fact that I have a 180 uh, carry weight. Carry so much shit. Well, you have a house in your back, so. Yeah.
Cashland is very over encumbered. I think I know that. Uh, let's murder him. Yeah, he's he has nine strength, Lamau. <laughs> murder time. Alrighty. Um. God damn, we're fucking rich. <laughs> you homie, yes we are. Can can we just end the campaign by retiring? Well, Raylene, no. You want to retire your character? You can retire your character. You can, yeah. Uh, which I I don't retire. I'm I'm a tool of justice. I gotta uh, <laughs> justice. I'm Magic Batman. <laughs> That's it's kind of what I had in mind, Magic Batman. I got I got fourteen thousand gold. Uh, also, Skylar, I'd like to. So the reason that I asked you about the bracers is that I want to trade in my um what you call it uh uh my bow rixora for the bracer flying daggers i assume the daggers that you throw from that are magical yeah uh yeah and then they, they disappear yeah they're conjurations uh. so mm -hmm. uh and with the uncommon along with uh the the which had of disguise how much could i get for them the the bowstring that you had me pay a thousand gold for. Okay, say that, this all again because you were just like speaking a right. mile a minute there. I oh, want dude. to sell my hat of hat of disguise, and I want to sell the one thousand gold bowstring. You would get probably about thirteen hundred gold for it. Uh, for it all? Yeah. Can I roll to persuade the unnamed merchants that I would probably go to? Probably crafts. No, because you're buying, you're selling something that's been used, and most likely. I will state it's heavily used in the time that you've had it. Suppose so. Uh, well, the hat not so much, but yeah. Uh... Who's to say the hat hasn't been damaged? The fact that it's magical? Yeah, and magical things can be destroyed by magical things. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, They're I don't indestructible know if I can have... via non-magical ways. Right, uh, I will add uh, 1300 gold. Oh yeah, uh, how much of that 30 would it cost? To remove the the ring, you you know you put on us, or oh, I, I uh, you know, just to remove, remove it, probably two hundred and fifty gold. Okay, and sell it back. Uh, no one would want to buy it. The um, well, uh, I will lock it in a little box and be like, "Don't touch it, don't touch it." Okay, so lock let it me put box and bury it in the ground. Basically. Someone's gonna find it, put it on, and then you're gonna fuck them over. Yeah, a good. Uh, so, so nobody would want cursed magic items. Not anyone in there goes. I suppose so. Well, she's gonna keep it like on her person, just definitely not on her finger. Uh, can't believe I have my dice back, head dice back. Uh, so that's a uh, thousand fifty gold actually. One. One, I have one six eight five gold. Uh, I have fifteen thousand gold total. Uh, so that was that. Could we say that I traded in Rexora for the bracer? Sure. Okay. So, do you want us to state what we're going to do for downtime now? Or... Uh, no, we're going to do uh, quickly your meeting with the king, and then off stream right. talk about that. But I'm right. going to make dinner after this, so. Right. So Just we'll message me, maybe. So can, can we still it. wait on Discord? Yes, but I mean, like, message if you have to go. I see. Okay. So you yes. make your way back after probably two hours of shopping. Yep. And uh, you come back, and uh, there's a couple other people at the bar now that are drinking with uh, Torin and Iron Paragon. Iron Paragon's still kind of brooding. Torin is absolutely sloshed at this point. <laughs> um, there are a few other men there, and one interesting individual is a uh, a lizard, an actual lizard folk. Oh, sitting beside yeah. drinking with uh, with Torin. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, they're there. There, uh, everything's gonna sit down at the bar, uh, probably next to Torin or whoever is. Uh, on which side is the lizard man? Who's on Torin's right? Because Iron Paragon is on his left. Right. 
So then to the next level lizard folk person, she's gonna sit. And uh, she's gonna ask him, Hey, uh, good day to you. Hello. He looks at you and he's got a little bit of... His eyes are a bit bloodshot. Oh. He's quite big. Like, probably maybe an, a couple inches shorter than Torin. But uh, at the same time, like, he has a lot, like, exaggerated arms and legs. Mm-hmm. And he looks at you and he has a, uh, he has a, uh, what you called, um, a split tongue. I see. Well, what, uh... Really, really, uh, meet my friend, um, I, I, I don't, I don't know your name. Shishko. Meet Shishko. Oh. Well, nice to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really... I... Calibus Tartarek. Uh-huh. Yes. I've bought drinks for everyone for the... For the night. For the bar. For the night. Um... Everyone drink up! <laughs> Will do. Uh, we finally got done with shopping and, and we got some gold for you. I, I don't usually drink, but for this special occasion, I, I guess it'd be okay. Oh, oh, there you bed. go. Uh, alright, well, uh, she's gonna order a glass or two or Oh, there ain't no ordering. There's just a couple of fucking kegs at the front. One of them is empty now. Based. Is there wine? Um, I'll say for the simplicity of it, yeah. Okay, well, she's gonna have some wine. She's gonna get a couple of glasses. Uh, she is proceeding to, uh, get sloshed. Uh, as, as invited by Torin, and uh, yeah, she's getting there. So you guys spend the night doing a couple of things, um, you know, having a good drinks. So around eleven o'clock, Iron Paragon goes to bed. Hmm. He enjoyed drinking, but he doesn't understand the festivities, so it kind of right. He feels like he's breaking the mood. I see. I see. Um, halfway through the night. Um, the lizard man, Shishko, starts to hit on Raylene. Uh. Make a charisma saving throw, Raylene. Oh no. You get plus six if you're within ten feet of I don't think I am. That is... <laughs> that is a twenty, not natural. You, uh... He's handsome for a lizard, but still not yeah. probably having the same computing parts. So you, uh, as nicely and Raylene-ly as possible, tell him... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry there, yeah. buddy. You probably have a retractable one. <laughs> I imagine it's... as a lizard folk, he'd have a cloaca. No. <laughs> Every no, no Adam. Get no, only cloaca. you have a cloaca. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can cry about it if you want. <laughs> I, I, I'm flattered. By all means, it's uh, it's. Nice to see that uh, somebody appreciates me. Uh, I, 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 and I know somebody I could introduce you to. Oh, who? Uh, I have some friends in Alden that, uh, you know, they, they, they've. Um, how could I put this? They, they like to try someone new. Uh, I'm sure you'd get along just fine with them, and I'll introduce. He has his hands together, and he's like, yeah. "Yes, yes, yes." It's, it's the, yeah. Um, this is just so. <laughs> no, no, this is an actual lizard person. They're lizard man, lizard folk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if uh, the next following days you'll be sticking with us, I could uh, take you to Aldent and uh, oh, meet my no, friends. I am, I am a nomad. I, I travel these lands. So when will you leave? Tomorrow morning. Mm, I see. Well. Maybe I could, uh... If you, uh, happen upon me, then, uh, make sure to, uh, say hello. I will, but, uh... Torin walks living... by the two carrying two mugs of ale and just places them down... In On top of my glass of wine, yes. Yep. Uh, nice. She's gonna hold them both. In fact, could you, could you wait here a bit? And she's gonna, uh, go... Uh, you know, I assume there, there's girls in the tavern as well. And she's yeah, gonna at this essentially... point, it's gotten pretty late, 11, yeah. 11, 30. The tavern is quite full. There's some heavy, like, well, I say heavy, loud music playing. Mm-hmm. She's gonna look for, for, for somebody cute, 
uh, some girl to uh, introduce. investigation. Will do. Okay, that's a total of, uh, whoops, damn. 16? You look through the crowds, and not as many, like, what you would consider pretty. Right. But you do find um, a nice-looking... Uh, let's go for an interesting race. Uh, oh, no. Well, so the page is frozen, so hold on. Has been frozen for, like, a while. Yeah. Furball. No, no, not a furball. Ah. That's fucking scary. Um, it is. <laughs> it really is. Dice. Let's roll the dice and see what we get. Oh, yeah, roll the, roll the uh, reincarnation. Roll the d26. Yes. Roll for a human, why don't you? <laughs> Twelve, what is that? <laughs> Twelve is a hobgoblin girl. <laughs> Ooh, Do I just it. know the, uh... <laughs> well... And a nice red-skinned hobgoblin girl. Uh, roll a 1d10 for how pretty she... No. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll give her a bonus, because I did say she looked pretty. Yeah. So I'll give her a plus two. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Hmm. Uh, well, I, that, that's what I see, right? I'd like to investigate. You'd like to Actually, what? I'd like to investigate again. I'd like to, 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 to look. No, no, this is uh, what you found. Oh, the only girl in the, in the tavern, right? No, only girl that you would consider pretty enough. I suppose. Uh... You don't have uh, beer goggles on. You have wine goggles on. It's much that, is, that is, that is, that is true. Uh, well, she's gonna approach her, and okay. uh, she's gonna she's gonna go up to her and hey, and just greet her. Hey, uh, how's your how's your night going? You. This is when you notice she's like six foot six. Yeah. Hey. And she comes and she's like, "Who? Oh, what's up?" Uh, has a gay character. <laughs> yeah, Torin. Uh, <laughs> Got him. What was I gonna say? Yeah. Uh, how are you enjoying yourself tonight? Oh, free booze is the best. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, uh, is uh, is drinking all you're looking to do tonight? <laughs> Between me and you. Hmm? Maybe gonna, someone else. I'm gonna catch me someone. Oh, I I, I think there's somebody you could. I, I got I got a friend. Then. Oh I yeah. Someone. Uh huh. That uh that handsome uh lizard boy over there at the at the counter. She is going to perception check with this advantage. Oh no. Rolled two nineteens. Oh. Over there. Yeah. He's mm. uh. He was he, he was he was saying he's uh looking for somebody tall and mighty. Is he a strong one himself? Uh I'd say so. Look you look strong to me. Mm. Get him over here. I'll do. Uh and she's gonna go over to, to Shishko and just gonna uh, not even speaking, just gonna maybe speaking, just saying like come, come over here. And uh, gonna wrap her arm around his, just locking it, and walk over to to her. What uh is it? Uh, so Shishko, I, uh, I, I'd like to, to introduce you to, um, shit. Uh, to shit. No, no, she's not gonna, no. That, that's what she's thinking, but, uh, not about the girl. Uh, my friend over here has been, uh, looking for someone, and I thought, uh, last night in our, the moment, uh, you know, some, some fun could be had tonight. He flicks his tongue and walks over to her. Oh. For the simplicity of things, they head it yeah. off. Nice. She's, she's, she's happy with herself. Later on in the night, when you are finishing up, you notice of all the people that are still here, those two are gone. Aww. And then you hear They're upstairs, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of noises do That's lizard folk make? <laughs> <laughs> disgusting lizard goblin. 
You hear the bed break? You hear the fucking floor the door, given. like ceiling smash, and you see crack. You hear <laughs> all the gods just why <clears throat> fucking no? Why no? Why do? Why are the gods hateful, Adam? Because this is an abomination. Racial. <laughs> well, anyway, so you guys love. finish up pretty drunk right. and you go to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, roll for have... hangover. You're gonna have to roll for a hangover. That's I know sure. I'm. A ha I know I have. So y'all make it to your rooms. Mm -hmm. You don't even recall paying for them, but uh, right. you probably got them for free, to be honest. Yep. And uh, you head to bed. Sleep relatively well. Say everyone gets about 9 to 10 hours. Yep. You uh, wake up at around 11. Everyone oh roll constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Really? Oof. Would I get advantage Everyone. because I have, what's it called? Proficiency uh, in drinking? I have you have proficiency in drinking, you do not have proficiency in hangovers. <laughs> Good point. But does that mean I can add my proficiency? Uh, I, I rolled a 13. Well, it's a constitution saving throw, so are you proficient in constitution saving throws? Yeah. Okay, then you're proficient in constitution saving throws. Okay, um, Calamus, you're a little, yep. you're a little pasty. <clears throat> But, uh, how much did you say you would be drinking, uh, Daniel? Uh, I wasn't... I'd say about, like, maybe three beers. Like, three, Okay, uh, you, um, you being someone who's never really drank before, wake up, your eyes are a little sore, but that's the worst of it. Okay. You rolled a 30? Just yeah. 30, 30? You, it said you rolling 30, rolling 30, 30. No, no, what's it called? I that's I just did, like, square brackets 30. Oh, okay. Because um, I rolled IRL. I rolled a 16 plus 14. You wake up still drunk, Calamus. Or not Calamus, sorry, uh, Torin. <laughs> uh, what a wild night. Iron Paragon wakes up. He didn't drink enough, really, in my opinion. Uh... Raylene. All right, I said I rolled a thirteen. Oh, you uh, you got a wine hangover. It's not nice. the worst of hangovers. Your uh, your mouth tastes like like old grape. Fair. Your um, your eyes are a little crusted over when you first wake up. Mhm. Mm and uh, you kind of slept on your the shoulder your shoulder wrong. Oh no. But other than that. You know, you're alive. Yeah, I, I, I am alive, thankfully. Uh, well, and I don't have indefinite madness. She's going to go fresh and... 11.30, so... She's going to take at least an hour to prepare. Um, and uh, she's also going to go outside, with or without the guys, doesn't matter. Go find a nice place where she can get a, get a fine pair of clothes. Okay. What about the rest of you? Just about everyone else is following her. The Roland, Cashlin, Disaster. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, Paragon. Paragon. No. Yes, Paragon. Oh, he's following me. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> they they all re you guys uh, essentially state those guys know they need to get some nice clothes. You tell Paragon he should probably wear a shirt. He huffs at me and and is like. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked you didn't uh, tell me to wear a shirt. Well, Torin's you're gonna have gonna, to. Torin's gonna get some sausage and potatoes and put his armor on. Why do I have to, actually? What? What do you mean? She's she's gonna. Okay, let, 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 let. So, well, she's uh, convinced yeah. you all that you need to dress nicely to meet the king. Yes, I rolled natural 20s on persuasion. Move. <laughs> it's yeah. less uh, you did yeah. that, and it's more like everyone's like, oh yeah, we're meeting the king. Yeah, it's not it's not something we can just like joke around with. So. Um, yeah. Corden's gonna wear his armor because what's more regal than plate armor? I have no clothes. Well, you're gonna wear clothes. <laughs> they don't make turtle sized clothes, so they're gonna commission one like super mega fast at, at craft. Uh, we'll stay for simplicity's sake. Turtles don't need to dress up because they're already dressed yeah. up in the nicest nicest clothes they can. Their own house. Yeah. I, mean, I, could I, could a toga. I could build my shell. Yeah, get a toga. Right. A toga isn't very formal. It can well, be really formal. How about, how about you just get a really nice hat? How about that? 
Yes, yeah. just give me a top hat. Just, okay. Yeah, just run to a uh, top hat, general's... two monocles. Yeah, not even a pair of glasses, just monocle. Yeah, two. Yeah. Um, what do you call it? That's yeah, a good page still frozen. Great. Uh, what's my modifier in charisma? Three, I think. So, and is anybody else gonna do anything? Uh, I mean, Aurelian would, would come down for breakfast and is 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 not doing the best. Uh, she's like a bit grumpy because hangover. Does uh, anyone want to take a bath? Oh, of oh, course. Yeah. I uh yeah. She you know what? Make that two hours. She's she's taking to prepare. Will um, I be able to fit in a bathtub? No, you're gonna have to be hosed down outside. <laughs> there would be larger like bathhouses. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go to one of those bathhouses. Right. So. Do the bathhouses cost anything, or are they public? They are public. You can go to There'd a be nicer, nicer ones one. that are. There yeah. are nicer ones where you can. They will like help bathe you. <laughs> Great. But those ones cost something. Wonderful. She's gonna head to one of those. Okay. Same. All right. Torn wants to get pampered. Okay. Okay, no. that's I'm, that's why I offered it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just she's the public one. I'd, okay. Yeah. First, first. first, though, she's gonna go buy the the, the nice or rent. The, can we rent clothes? There's no point. Okay. You may as well, well buy nice clothes to have nice clothes. Yep. So would it just be fine clothes as per? I'd say uh, regal wear, and it would cost five gold a person. Okay. Well, that sounds fine to me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, also, oh, oh, no, we have, like, a whole bunch of royal clothing sets in the, uh, in the back of home. You're right, yeah, we have it's... halfling clothes. We could trade in. <laughs> no, we just have a whole bunch. We have, like, three yeah, but sets of Yeah, but those oh. are perfectly sized to Lord Theremin. Yeah. That doesn't mean they're going to be perfectly sized to you guys. Yeah. Are you going to be exactly. such a penny pincher you're not going to spend five <laughs> gold? <laughs> you're going to show up and the guy that you... Guys killed clothes. <laughs> I'm yeah, showing uh, up in his armor. That's different. Yeah, because they know. don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Would they know his uh, clothes? His what? clothes would quite clearly not fucking fit you. Yeah, he's human. First of all, he's big. Anyway, and he has Lord Theremin fucking embroidered on the chest. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah, I'll just you gonna get that standard out. <laughs> yeah. So they also an embroidering. Oh. <laughs> but... God, rain. Just paint over it. it. What? Just paint over it. No. Oh. Uh. Right. So nice bathhouse this time. Okay. So essentially, the nice bathhouse is just like someone else gets you really nice scents and helps you get your back and. Gives you good stuff to show you how to wash your hair. Torin's like, how do I wash my hair? I don't have hair. <laughs> hair. Get, can, can I pay for fan boys to wash him? No. He's God. getting washed by just normal boys because... No. <laughs> it's not a co-ed oh. place. You're getting washed by the same gender. Oh, okay. Wonderful. And then if uh, you choose to, you can get a massage after. Will do. Torn will have his scales polished. That's another 50 gold, okay. No, that's another uh, gold. Oh, Reminder okay. that normal things don't cost very much. This is considered expensive. Yeah, I know. Expensive. I know, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah. Because you did say considered that... Like normal. Yeah. Yeah. Wish I could have rolled it. Could you imagine 19. making a gold in three days and then spending it on going to a bathhouse? Yeah. <laughs> that's Except that's treating you yourself. Made, like... 16,000. We, we made it. We made enough to buy a house. <clears throat> yep. Where we should kind of hold our stuff. So you guys get all your stuff done. You get all purdied yep. up. Specifically nice. Torin, who still looks a little bit tired from the whole dying thing. But also rejuvenated because he's also drunk. Yes. Okay. And also he got one night's rest, so it goes from a minus... Uh, minus okay. Or a, a minus four doll stats to a minus three doll stats. Yeah. Uh, can I get some some extra fancy stuff? Like, of course. Pay double what I said. Yes. I want to get even fancier than that. Ultra formal. Two thousand 
platinum. Yes. Give me plus million charisma for my post. <laughs> Fuck. Can I just have advantage on charisma things? But yeah. Uh, when um... you wear this armor, everyone in the world except for kings thinks you're a piece of shit. But kings <laughs> themselves look at you and go, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> And then the royal advisor just kind of leans in. What the, what the fuck? Who the fuck's this man? Anyway, so you guys get all finished up and you make your way to the uh, the castle around one forty, one forty five. Everyone's looking quite proper, you know. Roland has got like a tuxedo on only on the top because horse clothes. He's uh, technically he a horse dick. Horse okay. Dick. Cashlan is wearing some traditional-looking druid formal wear. It's got like feathers and literal like actual. It's basically a peacock suit. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Iron Paragon just has a tuxedo on, and he looks very uncomfortable in it. Right. Um, they kept trying to give him a top hat, but he threatened to punch them. <laughs> um, what do we got next? Uh, hi. No, no, I mean like for... Oh, yes. Uh, Me? Tartarek got just a top hat and a monocle and a cane. Okay. He got his shell polished and... Uh, Ooh. You could, Wax it, it looks nice, but you can still tell where it was broken. Oh, God. Um, can I get like a cape or something? Like a nice uh, cloak? Yeah. If you want to, it, it would look weird because it would just be like... Think about how fucking big your shell is, right? <laughs> You'd look like the penguin from the Bat from Batman movies. <laughs> Yeah, and then you'd have a cape over it going back like a foot and a half. Yeah. And then More going down. Than... Nonetheless, it's yeah. your choice. Um, then we have Raylene yeah. wearing absolutely ridiculous, like... <laughs> you know what um, the, the ringmasters from fucking carnivals wear? <laughs> wear yeah, like, really... that's what I had in mind. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You have like a double-winged fucking Yeah, like, thing. yeah. Or double tailed, I mean. Yeah, double like, tail coat. Yeah, hat got, uh, as well. You got one of those like flower things. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a nice. Uh, do I got a bow tie too? You have uh, one of those monocles, but it's on a stick, so you raise it up to your eye. Oh shit! Nice. And you have one of those cigarettes on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice. You have very a uh, very elegant like dress pants with. Uh, a little bit of like craziness going on and fluff on the bottom. You got oh. one of those um, to ex to completely accentuate your your chest. You have mm. uh, one of those frilly bits. Yeah. And you're just wearing ridiculously <laughs> large high heels. Nice. Just the and, stilettos. And how how nice are the boots? Pretty pretty nice. Like yeah, good. You know, like hundred dollar boots in real life type deal. Yeah. Uh, like Doc Martens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, um, and you're wearing a... Uh, what kind of hat would you like? Me? Yeah. Top hat. Okay, top hat. And, uh... Can it have one of those, hat. like... You know how judges have, you know, the, like, wig? Can I have, like, a miniature wig just as a ponytail? Yeah, you have one of those. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, Calamus, what are you wearing? Um... He wouldn't go all out. He'd probably just get, like, a suit. Okay, you know so Calamus times... is wearing a really nice button-down Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> okay. And, uh, jorts. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's wearing cargo shorts. Oh! Cargo and shorts. socks and sandals. Okay, so he's wearing, um, he's wearing one of those, uh, like, hat... Oh, he's... What are they called? Visors. He's wearing a visor. <laughs> right. He's got yeah. uh, he's got a polo golf shirt that's uh, green, white, and orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got a pair of whitish, grayish dress pants, and he's wearing uh, just like nice big old dress boots. His pants are those uh, those '90s pants where you could unzip half of the pant legs off. Oh, oh yeah, I had those. I had um, too. Torin is just wearing his armor, but it's been completely polished, so it looks very new. And has, uh, he has, uh, I'll say for the sake of it, you've had someone etch into the armor the symbol of Bahamut. Yeah. You're all looking proud and 
ready to meet the king. And that's when Gretel uh, walks in, wearing a Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> sweatpants, has a cigarette coming out of her mouth, a dripping nose, a and uh, in a socks tractor? and sandals. No, I'm just. <laughs> Can we please polymorph her? <laughs> All right, so you guys, you're uh, you're led after waiting for about five minutes to uh, to the main hallway. Very, very extravagant. If you thought the rest of the building was overdone... Oh, I should change the sound, by the way. Yeah, there's For regal more... music. What is regal as fuck? This is called Uncommon Valor. What's it sound like? It's like gunshots. Yeah, it's just the worst. It, it sure is uncommon. There's a gunfight in the middle of. <laughs> yeah, it's you know it's just it's just uh, noblemen sparring <laughs> with guns. <laughs> the king greets us and just shoots us all. Yeah, you bet. What's this? Is a five and a natural twenty. That is something. Does I, I feel work? fancier. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, you enter massive hall, probably about a 40-foot ceiling with all these massive intricate columns and every single, like, five feet there's a guard in, like, gleaming gold armor wielding these beautiful intricate weapons and a shield that has the symbol of Zura engraved on it. You see down a long red carpet, goes up a couple of steps, and you see a beautiful stained glass window just completely covered in things. It has, on, on the window you can see actually depicting every single one of the eight gods. Hmm. But in the middle, specifically, larger than the rest, is Albion, the human god. Oh. Then you have the, the, the people standing and waiting for you. You have the king's advisor, followed by the archmage. Then the king himself sitting in his throne. It's not too exaggerated, his throne. Um, he himself is, is a middle-aged man. He has a small brown goatee and mustache. His hair slightly pushed back with his crown. The crown is quite nice looking, but yet again, he seems to be more modest than what you would expect for most royalty, especially with what you've dealt with. Right. Then to the right of him is uh, his son, the prince, and his wife, the queen. You guys walk up, you get to your about 30 feet from him, when uh, he starts his, he uh, asks you, which one of you is the one that killed the Lord Theremin? I, uh, I raise my hand. You, son, what is your name? Cannabis. May I thank you? For uh, you've done a great service to this country, to this world. That man was treacherous. He was doing things... Well, I don't need to explain that to you. You were there. Yes, this, this is true. We, we've seen some very horrible things over there. Now, I believe two of them, two of you, are the ones that uh, were rescued from the island. And then uh, both Iron Paragon and Roland walk up and they bow their heads. Okay. We welcome you to our country. If there's anything we may do to help you, I assure you've already been paid for your due, but may I tell you, you are welcome. Now, what do I call all of you? I step forward. My lord. We are the Valiant. Mm, very powerful and noble name. 
I'm going okay, to bestow like... something upon you today that has no real value with currency, but I hope that you understand its significance. Um, that's when the ad main advisor comes down and gives each one of you a golden ring with the head of um, a lion on it and engraved in the lion's mouth because it, it's like the lion is doing like a, a like a roar type face in his mouth it says in um in common albion protects this ring is a very important part for noble society and for well Zura in a whole. Wear it with pride. If you show this to just about anyone in this country, you'll be given the respect you deserve. You may also use it in a way to get a little bit uh, ease of access for when you're traveling. It's quite expensive to catch boats to leave this country, but I assure you... You lot, the Valiant, will be leaving more often than anything. Returning? There are many problems in this world that are easily overlooked for how peaceful it's been for the last 327 years. But I assure you, we on Skarn need people like you. We need your assistance to do things that we, the politicians, we, the commoners, we, the everyday men, need help. Now, I have one other thing I can offer you. It's more superficial. And, uh, he essentially asks every one of you to come forward one by one as he knights you. Now, oh, yeah. having knighthood does not quite make you a noble, but uh, it will allow you to come and go in this building, or castle, say I say, and also any other noble establishment as long as you Tell them and show them your ring. Now, go out there and do Albion's work. And everyone, all the, the, the there's only five people really there other than the guards. They bow to you. And you're allowed to say whatever you want now or leave. Thank you. It is, uh, a great honor. That is the least of what we could say. Uh, we'll do our best. As we have till now, I'm sure we will uh, pull through. As a tattooist of the dying school uh, of wizardry, I had devoted most of my life to using my body as a tool for justice, and therefore it is an absolute honor. He's just sitting there with a smile on his face, happy to hear. Does anyone else have anything to say? My son. Before, before we walk away, Bahamut truly blesses you today, my lord. He bows his head. Thank you for your blessing. Now, save the world, boy, don't you? And you're escorted out by the guards. And uh, that's where we're going to end. Perhaps the real world of Skarn was the friends we made along the way. Of course, Randy Simmons. 